A view of the forks here in Winnipeg with the Cinnaboyne and red come together. A uh, relatively mild day, just about minus 5, minus 6, but overcast. Going to turn a lot colder by the end of the week. Let's bring you up to date on what happened this morning. And game two for the women and uh, Sherry Madod of Coldwater, Ontario, had control against Jennifer Jones. They're playing in an extra, and she has a chance here to make the double for the win, but flashes it, and Jennifer Jones steals the win. She's now won two in a row. The surprise team so far has to be Val Sweeting from Edmonton, out of the Savile Sports Centre. She was one of the last to qualify just a couple of weeks ago at the Road to the Roar in Kitchener, and that momentum seems to be helping her here as she makes a quiet tap back and she beats the veteran from Saskatchewan, the two-time Saskatchewan champion, Stephanie Lawton. Elsewhere on the ice, the reigning Canadian champion, Rachel Holman. Nice bounce back after struggles yesterday. And Chelsea Carey, she stole three in an extra to beat Heather Nedouin. So as we take a look at the women's table, surprise, certainly, to see Sweeting at the top. Also a surprise to see a Canadian champion such as Heather Nedouin still winless in two games. As on this Monday afternoon, we say hello Canada, welcome back. Our continuing coverage, Road of the Roar of the Rings and Linda Russ alongside. Have to say, obviously, it's a very short week. Just eight teams, so you play seven games. You can get into a hole very quickly, as we see now, Nedouin and Lawton. Same is facing Jeff Stoughton. He mm -hmm. lost his first, never has won his first <laughs> game at a trials, but you would think with all that experience he should be able to come back. Well, if it was a briar, it would be an automatic yes. He's done so well, but these trials, the timing of the Olympics and the trials has made everything different for teams. It used to be for Jeff Stoughton. He was playing bronze skills at this time of year. Now he has to be his best much earlier, but look at these numbers. In 2005 and 2009, Jeff has made the playoffs. He's found the way at this time of year to turn things around and be his very best. There's certainly no question in Kevin Martin. He's been in two finals, won them, and he's also come second. And so he knows how to be his very best at this time of year. It's not easy. Peaking early is tough. Russ, we know these two teams very well. Even though you know, Martin has made the change at third with uh, David Nedouin taking over for John Morse, yet Nedouin may be the talking point here. Yeah, it's hard to believe I'm going to say this, but he, he's really the question mark. He, he only won the Canadian Championship four times, arguably the best curler in the world for a period of time. A couple years off, but he's a great pickup for Kevin Martin. I think it's brilliant to bring in a veteran like that that can make all the shots at any position if Kevin's back goes out, for instance. But he's playing Jonathan Mead. It might be Jonathan Mean after that game last night. He's going to come out fighting. He's one of the best vices in the game. This is where the matchup's going to be won or lost this game, right here in the third position. It's hard to believe that only on day two, game two, can we say it is a must win for Jeff Stoughton. We'll have it. Stoughton Martin, when we come back. Since 1992, it's really been the focus for me. That, that's just the way it is. Um, it was so much fun then, and then in 2002 in Salt Lake, and then Vancouver, and I just love to get to one more, but I know there's seven other teams that definitely don't want to see that happen. This is the, the one thing that's remaining. I mean, people have asked before if it would mean more or less if you don't get it, and I said, yeah, of course it's going to mean a lot if I get it, but it's not going to be the end of the world if I don't. This is my last shot, and uh, we're going to give it our all. The 2013 Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings is brought to you by Tim Hortons. Always fresh, always great tasting coffee. The 2013 Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings is brought to you by M&M Meat Shops. Frozen food at its best by Capital One, what's in your wallet? And by Ford, proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for 20 years. The MTS Center, the Roar of the Rings takes over for the uh, Jets who will be in New York tonight to play the Rangers, two and one so far in there. Road trip, let's check all the games on the ice for them. Just nobody gets a bye, of course, eight teams, four games. John Epping, Glenn Howard. It was a struggle for Howard yesterday on the ice. We'll see if he's got it figured out. Mike McEwen from right here in Winnipeg goes against the reigning Canadian champion, Brad Jacobs. Stoughton Martin is our feature on C, and John Morris looked impressive. Jim Cotter, of course, throws the fourth stone. 
and Kevin Cooey, former Canadian world champion, lost his first. So Stoughton coming off his loss to Jacobs, Martin coming off a win over McEwen. It's time to meet the teams. Now it's brought to you by Ford, proud partners with the Canadian Curling Association for 20 years. The Stoughton team curl out of the Charleswood Curling Club here in Winnipeg with Mark Nichols, Reed Carruthers, and John Mead. The Martin team out of the Savile Community Sports Centre in Edmonton, Ben Hebert, Mark Kennedy, the very familiar hard-brushing front end, but it's at that third spot, David Nedowin, who took over this year for John Morris, throwing the third stone and not the fourth, as we are used to him with uh, Randy Furby all those years. It will be Martin to hold the last rock. He has the hammer playing the yellow stone, so it's Stoughton to play first and to get us underway. On this Monday afternoon here in Winnipeg, the roar of the rings, the Stoughton lead is Mark Nichols. Well, we talked about Jeff and his uh, Briar success, 1996 and 1999, he won the Briar, but shortly after both of those times, he played in the trials and only had a five and four record. He really struggled at this time of year, but have been very impressed the last two trials. He has found a way to bounce back from mistakes in these trials. But this one, as we look across these sheets, it is so tough with the quality of play out on the ice. You know it as well as I do, Linda. There's something about that lose the first one. You just, you don't feel comfortable. You get a win under your belt. And uh, I know it's only one game. They could, they could end up six and one. But at this point in time, you're sitting there going, I lost my first. Now I'm playing Kevin Martin. They, uh, they really need a good first half in this game. Well, unlike what we saw yesterday where we had an open first, uh, these two teams now are going right at each other. Let's take a look at the game plan, Linda. Well, I really think it's interesting how Kevin Martin is approaching these games. Uh, yesterday, he kept it wide open. I think it's because he thinks the ice favors that style. So I see a slow build up and using his shots at 96% yesterday to get those deuces. I think Jeff has to limit the blanks. Use Mark Nichols, who curled 99% in the game yesterday in the loss. The only question mark in my mind for Stoughton is Reed Carruthers, I thought, faded in that yes. game. He had a good number overall, but late in the game, he seemed fatigued from all the brushing. You can't do that. You have to hang in every shot. The game plan brought to you by World Financial Group, helping families have better financial futures. You see where Kevin's got the broom. He's outside the edge of the eight. It's a little bit more swing early in the game. I'll have to see if that straightens out like it did the other day. But we watched the morning game and the uh, most of the shots that were missed there weren't that many misses but most of them were on the high side not curling quite enough so as this game progresses we'll see if this curl tends to disappear so the one center guard goes up and now it's just follow the leader down as he Ben Hebert lays one on top as we say good afternoon to Kathy Goche Hey, Vic, you talked so much, Linda, about the tactics of Kevin Martin. He told me before the game that he really likes the ice. He finds there's lots of curl. He wanted to play it kind of conservative yesterday to get the feel. He's got that. For Jeff and his team, they felt they were flat yesterday. The game was flat. And by giving up an early deuce, they let Brad Jacobs run. They are not prepared to let Kevin Martin do that. Did you just say that Linda talks too much? <laughs> did not say that. I think that's a given. <laughs> Still there. I thought I heard, Linda, you talk so much. <laughs> no, I definitely think for Jeff Stoughton, the answer is not to let Kevin Martin run up and down the ice. And for Kevin, Kathy, I agree with you about his feelings. I just think he feels comfortable with what the ice is giving him. And some years we criticize oh, him for saying he's fighting yes. what the ice has out there. I think he's looking great and comfortable and ready to play with whatever ice there That's is. That's huge news for Team Martin. Okay. And it's not only the ice, it's the... Uh, it's the stones as well. Because we've seen those get in his head too. Oh, he's he's given up a lot of championships by letting the rocks get in his head, and uh, sometimes they're trickier. When you're a perfectionist like Kevin, you want to make everything perfect, and your your strategy is based on perfection. When you get a rock that's a little different, or a spot in the ice is a little different, it it, it can really uh, disrupt your uh, certainly your confidence. But he looked really good yesterday. Look at that! Spills them all. Mark Kennedy. Leaves Martin sitting the one center line, and then the shooter just spills over to cover the forefoot. 
I think this is why I was so interested in the matchup at second and the little fade I thought maybe happened to Reed Carruthers for the Stoughton team because there is no question in I think any of our minds that Mark Kennedy is one of the very best seconds in the business. Yeah, he can mail it in with Mark. He's just going to have a good week. There's no question about it. Whoa. Yep. Whoa, whoa. Oh, wait's good. Whoa. Yep. 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 Hard. Reed Carruthers. Nichols Mead pick him up okay. and. Maybe it jumped on them a little bit as it spills out into the open. And yeah, down the center, first end, there'd still be a bit of pebble there, fresh pebble that would grab the rock, get a little bit more spin, a little bit more curl. The ice looks very level. There's, there's about the same amount of curl every direction, both turns, both ends. Nobody's talked about draw weight problems. It's just the odd time they're not finishing late in the game like they thought they might. Now, one of the things we did notice uh, last evening or yesterday, uh, particularly was the the fact that the ice maybe got a little soft the huge crowd we talk, players talked about footprints and again there's a, a very healthy crowd on hand here on this monday afternoon so we'll have to keep our eye on that not quite the roll underneath by kennedy it's you know raised triple with his first one soft comes back with soft weight rolls it almost underneath and he does it left-handed, which is even more impressive. <laughs> I'll let you take all the emails from the yeah, left-handers. Okay, <laughs> Bumper up! Yep! 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 John Mead in his first, and this is going to be a struggle here. Trying to get this by. Big brush for them. Roll it. Nicely done as they roll it away Shot from that away. guard. On the board early, Benny. Thanks. Throw control, Dave. Yeah. yeah. The more wide open the game is, the more important the taps and rolls are going to be, in my opinion. Uh, one key hit and roll. We saw it with Brad Jacobs yesterday. He got a key hit and roll from his third and set up a deuce and then was off to the races. So these little soft taps and rolls are not easy, but they're going to be key to the success of these teams. David Nedwin, who had all those great years yeah, big roll, Cap. with uh, the, the Fab Four, yeah, the Furby Four, throw. Randy Furby. A little thin and spins to the uh, back of the eight. How much of a difference do you believe, oh, yeah. Russ, is it for him? Uh, nice, nice throw. No, granted. Throw, he, good. He, yeah. I thought good. we were going to be good halfway. He but, got yeah, the I'm call. He said, and he went to Randy. He said, what do you think? Randy Furby said, you got this opportunity to play for the Olympics. You go. But after all those years of throwing fourth yep. stone, not skipping, Easy. fourth stone, he's now throwing oh. the third. I, you know what? In this particular case, I think it's easier. He threw the big money shots uh, for Furby. Randy played an incredibly aggressive game, and David, some of his shots were so important. Probably more important shots during a game than anybody I've ever seen. He came through time after time after time. So now it's a little bit less pressure. He's got Kevin Martin, the old bear, behind him to bail him out if he does happen to miss a shot. The brushing is not an issue because he did that when he played fourth for uh, Furby. He, you know, so the fitness, no problem. So it's, it's actually a slightly easier situation. Whoa. I still think the biggest adjustment on the team, whoa, Vic, is whoa, just whoa. that David Nedwin has a very different delivery. Mm -hmm. And the way Good. the stone reacts is Good. that much different. And because they Probably. just came to the team this year, they haven't had a lot a of time to get difficult. used to that. It's an unconventional delivery to begin with. Uh, he has a little tip in the hack, and then it's almost like the stone is underneath him, and he just lets it slide out of his fingers. With the rest of the team, a lot more rotation upon release comes out of that hand. The break point is then different, and I think for David, we're seeing different kind of curl. A lot more curl for sure. I talked to Brad Gucci about it. He's the fifth of this great team, and uh, he said a lot of Davids were going six, eight, ten inches more on draw shot, especially when it's fresh pebble. But I think because there's a little less curl this week, it, it, it might make them a little closer. But you're absolutely right, Lynn. It's tough on the brushers, too. If there's less rotation on Davis Rocks, it'll plow a little bit and maybe not carry that extra yeah. foot or two. Hard, guys. Really hard. Right to it. Whoa. Right Whoa. to it. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Just yep. hitting this yep. open rock. Real good. Hi, Jeff. 
Both teams seem content after there wasn't yeah. that hit and roll there's a, early there's a little to difference between just and play and the exchange of hits. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you got to mean it, eh? Oh, yeah. I was thinking you drew with the fives. So. Yeah. Are you trying to roll, Kev, Anyone or no? Anyone knows the roll sure. here a bit? Yeah. One thing that yeah, we want to roll Kevin Gardner Martin said on. the addition of uh, David Nedouin has done has caused the team to refocus. Things were, I guess, in a little bit of autopilot for a number of years with John Please. Morris. And John yep. said, too, we weren't yep. having fun anymore. Do you believe that, Linda? Yeah, it was always a business arrangement with that Kevin Martin team. So the approach of how they work together was always going to be a little different. Um, you know, you don't necessarily have to have fun, but I think if there is that uh, passion that leaves the game, you have trouble making your shots as well. And I was impressed with the way all four of them handled the way that they split. They didn't split with animosity. Mm -hmm. They just said, we think for everybody involved, it's better if this happens. And, it's, and I think it's been uh, Same way, Joe. a breath of fresh air for both of them. And then look what's happened here. Yeah, Johnny came through the pre-trials. He knocked off uh, Glenn in the game one. And they, they seem to be on top of their game. And uh, John's he's in a nice situation there. He's, he's such a, a type A. And he really he's so into it. He's so intense on the ice. And he, he, can, he can work that way now that he's uh, skipping the team. Final oh. stone for Jeff Stoughton. Oh, no. Hang drop. Oh. You're sorry, Heart it's Heart! Had the idea of trying to hard, jump eh? it behind. Yeah. Reed? Yeah. A little harder in the first one. You notice Kevin could have played the hit and roll, but he would have been behind the T line. That would allow Jeff to freeze, and there'd be no chance to blank the end. So Kevin was smart enough to roll away from the guard, making it tough for Jeff to roll back. Now a chance to blank. I thought we were just going to get a little more late finish. See something? Oh, I see something. Just getting there. That's been there the whole time. Martin, the team did have a uh, a good bond spiel season. They won a couple of events. Looking for the blank here in one. Yeah, yeah. Kevin Martin. Please, please, please. please. Okay, okay. Please. And out the uh, side it goes. So not a, it's not a nice shot by Mark Kennedy. Blank goes on the board in the first. With a blank in the first, you would think, oh, okay, oh, I'm wide open. But we did see a wonderful shot here. Mark yeah. Kennedy. This is the first shot of the game. You got to know the spot in the ice. Throws a bullet. Straight back, one, two, three out of the way. Makes a nice hit roll to the next one. He was on fire right up the bat. And then no one could use the uh, off center guard. Blank goes on the board. This is how the people see it here on the big scoreboard at MTS Center. Here in the second, once again, Martin will have the last rock playing the Yellow Stones. Yeah. Those little maps are kind of good, eh? Yeah, that's great. <laughs> we just nice job, Ben. Real good. Poor thing. We just. Okay, who's going to take this key shot? That's Russ, it's supposed to be you. Okay. Why Linda was staring at me. <laughs> well, poor Russ has a cold. Yes. That's the excuse. <laughs> I still am chuckling, but <laughs> I'll give you the break. Line skids? No, no line yet. Little room. It's bouncing. No. Uh, Glenn Howard Gee. struggled yesterday, uh, line, but what has he yep. got here? A chance for a couple? He does indeed. Two bad picks on this sheet. The worst, probably John yep. Epping's yep. first yep. one, yep. where his freeze over curled, and that allows multiple points. Oh, boy, nice. no. Has he got three? It looks like he does. One, two, and yes. that one at the back of the 12. That one at the back of the 12 actually was his first stone, and he was heavy with it. So he makes it for three. So that is a great start for Howard, who really struggled yesterday. You want to go on top of ours, eh? Yeah. And that's what we're used to seeing from these great teams. One little mistake and you get punished. And uh, that wasn't an easy shot to line it up. And in particular, after Glenn didn't throw a very good one in his first, but it still counted. A nice shot. Yeah, John Epic played a funny one there because by trying the tough little tap, he set that triple up. And uh, it's a long road for Epic now. It's not heavy. Weight's good. Yep. 
Well, I thought it was important for Jeff to prevent Kevin Martin from running up and down the ice and blanking. First stone went out in front, come around by Kevin, and the stone at the back of the 12th not going to help Jeff Stoughton at all. And there's the second nice come around by Ben Hebert. Overthrow an inch. I know. <laughs> Big numbers for this Martin team in game one, and uh, they seem to have the feel of the ice a little bit better than some of the other teams. Nice. It's the curl. Just whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. You have to go on the yellow. I got it. On the yellow. Now, one of the Shot reasons Martin. that Kevin Martin may feel a little more Shot comfortable Reed. with the ice and the stones is his choice of fifth player. Surprised a lot of people that he went and got Brad Gushu, who won the gold medal, of course, with you, Russ. Uh, two reasons. One is Martin has been suffering with a bad back, so there's an insurance policy there. But it's also the fact that Guju is really sure. good at charting stones and don't mind the feel. Sure. during the practice on Friday and then again on Saturday, there he was with the book out marking down tendencies of the stones. And so I'll ask you about the benefits of somebody like Guju to a Kevin Martin. Oh, it's huge. It's absolutely huge because, A, we all know Kevin is really into the rocks and that they have to be perfect where he's not going to throw them. And then it makes the skipper a little more confident. Brad is a good rock matcher. He's young. He's fit. He'll throw a lot of rocks at night. And in the practices, the, the practice the other day was uh, 40 minutes in each sheet. And it was just crazy amount of throwing. So Brad did a lot of the throwing. And also, I think importantly to point out, Brad just came off the pre-trials where he was amazingly good didn't get through but he himself played well and it's the same rocks so he comes with that valuable information to give to the Martin team. now further to Martin's back he hurt his back at a bond spiel in Saskatoon back in September he took an entire week off didn't throw didn't do anything and he hasn't yep. missed a game or practice since then yep. so chances of his back being a problem here yep. Yep. Hard line. not likely but he does then have somebody in Gushu they could step into the skipping spot. And you know, it's not easy to choose a fifth when you haven't had them playing with you regularly because these teams are attacking each other regularly on the Bonspiel circuit. They're the enemy, and suddenly you want to bring them into your own camp. So it's not easy to choose somebody. So on both sides, it takes some working together, but I think Brad's the perfect personality for this team. And you've got Jules Outcher already that knows Kevin so well. So the fact that those two are sitting there to help him is fantastic. 37 years. Amazing. Jules wow. has been coaching <laughs> Kevin Martin. Okay. Whoa. Clean. No, no. Ah, 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 ah. Curl. Ah, Curl here. Missed it. Curl. <laughs> Marky. Oh, I like that. Oh. Okay. You're that good. Okay. Is no curl. That's the, that seems to be the the favorite miss so far in this event. Nice Okay. That one back. He'd want to make the double, but more importantly, hang around with that yellow one. You know, and not, this is no disrespect to Mark at all. I'm just wondering when I hear some players say that I threw that good or threw it well. Nice. Are you indeed surprised? As a player, yeah. when, when it doesn't work, yeah, I, th I don't think ah! Kevin was surprised. So I'm a little, uh, I think it's kind of strange that the player didn't know it. I think we've seen over two days plus practice of two days that if you're at all outside or if you happen to hit a path that's a little bit straighter, it is never coming back. I guess, Vic, my only surprise with the Martin team and a number of the others out here, when you've got great brushing, close the broom down and do the early brushing. Normally, that's the key. Well, if you got Mark and Ben on oh, the brushes, here. you change everything to manage the curl by the brushing. How many times whoa. have we said in the past, uh, Russ, yep. that uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Kevin would cheat the line, take uh -huh. a little less because he's got these two guys on, brushing for him. Exactly. How many times out of his hand, it's like, oh my goodness, it's, wow. look at this. Look at wow. this right <laughs> off and settles down on the corner, makes the double, and then spins to the corner, the stone at the back of the edge of the end. Old uh, cross the sheet double freeze. <laughs> <laughs> Great shot. 
One, Real two, good. and nestles right in on top of the red and keeps the blank alive. What a great shot. Just, it's just not. Just in curl. I thought it'd come up an inch and they don't. But you're... Almost peeled, Jeff. Oh, that. Oh. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Shot. Didn't love changing turns there. The only thing, I guess, if people have watched David Nedowin for a number of years, <coughs> Linda, is that we always are, we make an assumption that he's a soft shot kind of player. Does he fit then at the third position? Can he throw yep. the up weight if it was required? Oh, sure. I think mostly with yep. this team, no though, Mark Kennedy's there. the go to guy yep. to bail out yep. with the up up weight, but David can play any shot. He's ter no, terrific. David. And it was sort of as we were watching that double and roll to the freeze, it reminded me of what you said in the first end. As a fourth rock thrower, he had to play a lot Pretty of tough long. angles with a lot of different weights. Yeah. So he's, in a way, used to that kind of demand yeah, on him. Exactly. And then these rocks now, I mean, back when they were doing all their winning with the, the, yeah, great throw the Fab Four Furby team, uh, the rocks weren't quite as lively, so you don't have to throw quite as much weight to move them around now. Came up just enough. Yeah, I know. It was sitting there. Sitting it, there uh, I didn't know if it was going to move enough. I still think this sort of style of play is to Martin's liking. He's gotten some things happening, but the bailout happened when he needed it, and he's able to blank, wait, hold the hammer, wait for Pull another up. opportunity. We said yesterday in the uh, on the first day, because it's so short around Robin, there are three blanks on the board here. The only game that scored in the first was Howard getting his three. You suggested yesterday, uh, Russ, it's because teams will be... I know. I, afraid I, 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 you know, to take a chance for fear of losing. Yeah, it's not a bond spiel. This is the real deal. This is to go to the uh, Olympic Winter Games, and uh, I think you just mentally are a little bit more cautious. You'll wait an end or two. The 10 end games, a lot of the spiels are 8 end games. You've got the luxury of two more ends, too, so you don't have to go crazy in that first end. Didn't work. Hit his own. Clean. Yep. Yep. Heavy clean. Yep. Yep. Make sure. Yep, yep, yep. So looking as if we're headed to a, a second straight blank. We talked about the frustration yesterday for for Jeff Stoughton and not able to get something going against Brad Jacobs who beat him 7-4. And that's a worry. I think yesterday Brad Jacobs showed how well after getting a deuce early they could play that defensive style and hold the lead throughout the whole game. And, you know, the same worry exists with Kevin Martin. If Jeff happens to give up a deuce early in this game, it's there's lots of time to recover, but it's tough to do against teams like Kevin Martin. As we just mentioned, the Rocks are so lively, it's easy to make these doubles now for these top players, and it's hard to score points once you're down. Good way. Kevin's always had that habit of cleaning the path that he's going to use all the way down. I like it. It's a good idea. It can't. It cannot hurt. Right. It's remarkable Whoa. after all these years of watching Whoa. him. And He's never fine, fine, lost fine, fine. the focus. Kevin Martin gets the blank here in two. I shot Dave out of way. Yeah, well done. He'll take the hammer to the Big third. Ball. It's the roar of the rings. It's the television event that takes you back to the mob wars of the 1940s. Los Angeles Mob City, a three-part series from Walking Dead's Frank Darabont, and it starts Wednesday at 9 Eastern exclusively on Bravo. Skating today, and boy, they'll, they'll be able to skate outdoors by the end of the week. They're talking minus 20 as a, a possible high as a cold front moves into the Winnipeg area. Mark, the Welcome back Hold on there. this Monday, day two of our Mark, coverage, boy, the Roar of the boy, Rings from the MTS Center. Blank and one, blank and two means that Kevin Martin once again will have the last rock here in three playing the Yellowstones. 
Oh, Benny. Sit. Oh, very good. Okay. Okay, Mark. You don't think that five slow? I'm I think it's throwing... slow. Yeah? Yeah. So I don't want... I think that that's two feet, three feet slower than that. Yeah, I agree. Okay. Well, great conversation about the stone. He's still learning, of course, on day two, but it makes a huge difference to, difference to a lead who's trying to be very precise with the placement of both the guards and then come around the angles and freezes. We think about it as really important for skips, but maybe even more so for the lead. I agree. You have to be so precise in an overthrow. Uh, we watched it uh, yesterday in the ladies game. Uh, once you're a little heavy, you can be in big trouble. We saw a six from Jones because the opponent just could not throw them light enough. So Mark adjusted beautifully. Sit on we talked that the other games, Kathy, were all blanks, but we're going to get something here. Uh, Morris and Cooey. Well, the redstone that is second shot is Jim Cotter's first one. He made a lovely freeze, and that's really closed the scoring area down. Kevin needs to get to the, the white of the Tim Horton's middle button there in order to get his dues. Cooey, who won the Canadian and World Championship in uh, 2010. Carter Rycroft, yep, go. Nolan Thiessen yeah, on the brush. Pat Simmons calling line. How nice is that? Nice. Kevin Cooey to grab the back of the button for two. Maybe. Unless that rock is cute too. T line. T line, guys. Okay. Lock it on there. T line. Okay, Reed. This is the part that's fascinating about the men's game, and that is the race to the button and then trying to get the angles. The more fascinating part may be after we watch them all collect, we often see them all disappear with some sort of big run back. But for the moment, it's setting up the angles. Whoa, whoa, T. Yep, T. Yep, 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 yep. Hard line, hard, hard, read up. Mark Nichols. Come on. Yep, 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 yep. John Mead. Reed. Similar situation to what we saw in the first stand. Almost identical, and same guy throwing here. Uh, a bullet coming from Kennedy straight back. It's a long guard, though, and you have to be so precise. Just think about it, maybe a quarter of an inch off where you want to hit it. It's not going to touch any of those rocks and rings. Yeah. I like the intern. Yeah. Should run dead straight. No, this probably isn't great, is it? No. Uh, no. Am I it's better not. to better to straight peel than hit it right on the yeah, nose? Probably. Oh, yeah, probably. Okay, give it Seven a go. Seven eights on my side, Mark. <laughs> Interesting comment. Nose isn't great, but they virtually have to hit it on the nose to make it. Heart. You can't miss by much to get those rocks Heart. in the back. Did it Heart. once. Oh, oh, oh. Can he do it twice, Kennedy? Oh, and sit, 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 sit. Oh, too bad. Not quite, as you'll lose the one in the back. Shoot. And he'll still leave. Stoughton shot stone and covered by that long guard. I don't know if that's good, good throw, or not. Mark. Almost unnecessary, like okay, hit it exactly where we want it to, and we might be in trouble. Nice way. Yeah. Shot, Mark. You've thrown Another blank before, right? here yeah. in the first. Okay. Brad Jacobs, Mike McEwen, Kathy. Well, those two red stones that you see at the forefoot are both thrown by Mike McEwen, came around and locked on both sides of the Yellowstone belonging to Brad Jacobs, so very much like we saw with the Cooey game, needs to get to the white of the Tim Hortons for the second point. T-line. T-line, line's fine. Line's pretty close. Jacobs coming off line's that fine. win yep. against yep. Brad Stoughton. Yep. Line's good. Jacobs coming off the uh, Jeff Stoughton yep. yesterday. Come on, guys. Gotta go. Come on, guys. Gotta go. All right, all right. All right. And he won't be able to get it there. That one at the top, that'll be his... Single point for Jacobs here in the second. Stoughton applying a lot of pressure in this game. Another <laughs> run back against two this time. Gotta make this harder on you. That's right. Yep. Party. Close. One wow. and doesn't get them both. It's a little unlucky, but it is yeah, that yeah. distance, a fraction yes. of an inch off on that first one, and that's how the angle changes onto the stones in the rings. Three run backs already by uh, Mark Kennedy's really made them all. A little unlucky not to make the double, but great shot just the same.
Jeff's got the broom almost middle 12. It's a little more than uh, yesterday. So we get some nice finish on this outturn uh, side. Pretty close. And he's looking Top to 12. leave it center line. Top eight. Yeah, exactly. Or, or over buried a little. Okay, we can wait. It's not bad. It's not bad line. Line's Top good. Eight. Well, then, just a little extra. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're, we're really a piece of it around that yellow, so no. there isn't a red double. Need Perfect. No, not at all. It's, 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 uh. Okay. A little uh, deeper, maybe, than the he wanted. Yeah, ideally a little higher. Judge. Yeah, got there pretty easy. Right under cover, though. And these are the tough good. ones, oh, I yeah. find. That little extra speed that David has to throw here to bump the red one out. Sometimes they'll track a little longer than the uh, curlers have expected so far. Just want to update you that uh, John Epping, you see standing there, scored one in the second. Yep. And right. Howard now has the Hatch. last rock in three yep. and up 3 1. Oh, extra weight, extra Three. weight. Lots right of weight. Off, then. Back one. Close. Yep. Go off, 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 off. Still got the front one. Yeah, hard, hard, hard. Hard. Oh, go bit. But. So he gets the shot stone, but uh, leaves that rock now top eight, fully covered. Loses the shooter too. It was heavy. It was actually going after the front one, and so that was a plan B with the communication of the weight. And Kevin got the back one. If you just rubbed the front one, they would have had a chance to bury another one and be sitting three. So it was a good plan B. Yeah, at least getting uh, making the scoring area a little bigger by getting the rock closest to the pin. Yeah, this was easy. We don't want to keep. We're probably tight. Line's good. Just tight. Yeah, line's good. Let's go. Brothers Nichols, they got him now. It's Trying to drag Come it on, guys. Go, 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 go. down to the center call, line. Just go. maybe bite the top of the 12 if they can get it Come that on, keep far. It going. Bury it in there. Come on. Go, 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 go. Tuck a piece around. around. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, maybe it. just yeah. a corner yeah. of the stone is tucked. I really took a lot off that one. Okay. Yeah, a little turning trouble. point here in this end. Uh, yeah. Martin been in trouble the entire end, and by uh, Sorry, Jeff. the audible last time on uh, Netherwoods heavy one, peeling out the rock was closer to the rings. He's got a little bit of room here, and David could sneak one in behind him, the forefoot, maybe score more than one. Don't touch it. It's a rocket. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Don't you can hear Ben Hebert say, "Don't touch it, Mark. Don't yeah. touch it at all." Jeez. So Nedouin, who was a little heavy with his first, oh my God. is heavy again here. And this one won't even hang around. With less rotation, you mentioned it, Linda, it, David That's has to go into a different path. They have to give him a little more ice. And you'll sit in the hack of your David Nedouin going, oh boy, it could be fresh pebble. Might have to give him a little more here. And uh, he would love that one back. Not a good shot. Anything like there is usable. Once it's deep, it's pretty hard to bring it back. Well, especially this situation where this is a perfect way for Jeff Longer. to put another one in. He's Happening. got the two guards out in front. The rock in the house is top eight. He can get around it. Lots of options for Jeff. And even if you're not thinking steel after those oh two God. blanks yeah. and feeling like Kevin had so much control of this game, this is a chance for Jeff to really swing the momentum. It's close to your line, Avery. Eh, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Good memory work from Jeff. Uh, read to one down in this spot so they know exactly what's going to do. Ideally, tap that rock a little bit. We'll go half around. Back four, back oh, eight. Stones. Well, Here in the third. And, uh, back 12. Lots of weight. And that little raise okay. will pop it out into the open oh. on the other side. Sorry, guys. Four feet heavy, eh? Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's right, Jeff. Just trying. Yeah. Just a couple feet. Yeah, it's about four feet heavy. Kevin's going to have a chance here now. Back eight. Yeah. Just back I'm just going to make sure if we can move it or not. That's... If we have Can to. you move it? If we have to. Yeah. Hey, Dave, do we have to move it a little or can we lock yeah, it right bit. on? Okay. Just throw a weight. Okay. Now we talk about routines. Five, Benny. Five. 
Kevin comes down the ice, he cleans the ice part of his routine. He's thinking about the shot thing. the whole time, Double and the rushers what? try not to intrude on the routine. So Mark Kennedy actually went down the ice to talk to David Nedouin in the ha in the house about whether they can freeze or tap. So he didn't get in Kevin's head. That's brilliant. Top four. Point it's it's, 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 you can learn so much uh, from that front end. Oh, oh, we're not bumping much. Oh. Kevin knows Line's what he has to do, so three, Mark went down to figure out what he had to do. They can bump it, but they don't want to bump it very far. Oh, they're trading they're chances there. here oh, after Edwin oh, missed his last. Inside. No, 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 no. bumps no. the stone out into the open. Hard, hard, Benny, hard, Benny. Whoa, whoa. And now Martin just got across the nose good. enough nice. to flip inside towards the center line to sit shot stone. Darn, just need a little, little more curl. Just the weight, was, the weight was good. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, if it rolls just another three inches, he doesn't have the run, he doesn't have the top. I don't think you could pick a better player, really, for Martin. Uh, with the, the way uh, Furby and Nettowin yeah. played all those years, they always had tons of rocks in play. And Kevin himself loves to play those soft shots. Well called brushing there with uh, David Nettowin, and uh, this is right behind the guard for Jeff. He can get to it, but it has to be perfect speed. This is one of those where you actually can't really throw the tap. You're throwing the draw and letting the brushers take it to the tap. Jeff throws a fairly back. straight out turn oh, no. from that tuck position, oh, no. so you really have to be careful Wait, with the good. weight. No. Give me some hook. Nichols, Carruthers, and back oh. right off. Has Hardy. he got anything of this stone? Just a little touch to move it over. And now the draw will be there for a possible two. When the last words we heard from Kevin Martin said, if he makes this, I may not be able to score. I know, and after that, when Breeze went through the rings, here's a shot with backing for two with the best brushers in the world. Did this end ever turn around? Well, I suggested that Kevin Martin would try to set up for a skips deuce. I didn't think of it this way. I thought of it just waiting a little longer in the end to make sure that he wasn't in any risk of giving up a steal to Jeff Stoughton. But... After a brilliant first shot, it is a chance yeah, for that skips deuce. We used to say uh, two points unassisted. <laughs> I thought you were all there, Kevin. Yeah, we could use it. If you want to play Where is for it, guys? Easy, easy. Back four, it? back four. Back four? Hard then. Okay, I don't yep. think oh, we need oh, it. Oh, well, wow. yep. We're going to make up our yep. minds. Make hard a decision. Then. You're going to have to go hard to use it. Hard and now they go. Never Kennedy, off. Never, never off. Never off. He may need the backing here just to slow this up. Well judged, you guys. Oh, Nicely boy. done for the well deuce. Done, Mark. That was definitely heavy. And maybe a, a gift deuce. Martin not Excellent expecting job, that. Yeah. I tell you what, this is a, a tense afternoon on this sheet. You could feel it. Kennedy, Hebert doing what they do so well. Great judges of the stone. Put two on the board, Martin. They are certainly two of the very best front ends in the game in Ben Hebert and Mark Kennedy. So let's just listen to their communication. Final stone for Kevin Martin in the third. I thought you were all there, Kevin. Yeah, we could use it. If you want to play Where for is it, guys? Easy, easy. Back you four, back four. Back four? Hard then. Okay, I don't think go. we need it. Well, well, yep. We're going to make up our yep. minds. Hard then. You're going to have to go it. hard to use it. Hard if you need it, hard. Never off, hard. never off. <laughs> Good. Well judged, you guys. Tough, Kev. Oh boy. Well done, Mark. That was definitely heavy. <laughs> Excellent judge, Excellent. you guys. Excellent job. And uh, you two, uh, you both talk so often about the communication of a, uh, a front end and how much it means. Well, it meant everything to Martin scoring that two to score first. He leads now as we welcome you back. And it's the fourth. Stoughton has the last rock. First time in the game playing the redstone. No, no. What a brilliant uh, sound bite fit with the uh, one of the best front ends ever. And it's one thing to be strong and one thing to be able to judge, but they, they, that was a missed shot. He was four, five, six feet heavy. If it curls early, he's missed that shot heavy, and they saved it with that wonderful judgment. I don't think we can. It's good. Good. Just big difference in those rocks. Yeah. Eh? 
Well, Brad Jacobs with a one nothing lead over Mike McEwen. Last one coming up. Does he have a chance to bring his stone into play at the back of the 12? He does for sure. He made a yeah. lovely intern shot, and his first one rolled under, but Brad Jacobs followed that up and removed it. He is shot right now. That's the yellow stone that Mike is playing against. What makes it tougher is that yellow stone right beside it. I wonder if that guard whoa, comes whoa. into play as well. Final yeah, stone, Mike there. McEwen yeah, and yeah. his He's team from the Fort the Rouge heart. here oh. in Winnipeg. Big scrub, big scrub, big scrub. They got it by. And now. And now he got away with it. Very he nice. touched it at the back. Got away with the jam. Pick up two. McEwen's on the board, and the crowd is into it. And right over here. You're just sitting beside it. I couldn't get it. Sorry. <clears throat> we just saw a nice shot by... Uh... Mike McEwen going by a long guard, and it's interesting because this corner guard, we talk about positioning, may be a little long and a little wide, and we say often that's a good thing so that you can still draw to the forefoot, but that rock was pretty buried behind it, and that hit and roll was simple with pretty big weight for a tap. A little more curl today, I think, especially on this, this side of the sheet. Maybe a little more T line. Good shot. Hey, Shall Reed. Reed. You like? Reads it, Mark. <laughs> Reads right on. Top speed. Speed should be nice here, Mark. Full speed. Yeah. Seems draw to the button. Which I was heavy on every time. From Mark, he believes this area is a little bit quicker because he's thrown it before and been heavy. Whoa, 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 off. Line's pretty good. Wait, good. Be heavy. Whoa, 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 off. off. Wait's there. Yeah, whoa. Wait's there. Can't Wait's be there. heavy. Can't be heavy or it won't come. Curve off. Oh, oh, heavy. Heavy. Oops. What we've talked about, you've talked yeah, about. Through the first two days. Maybe it's, just a sliver. Like, it just was like probably that. A little heavy. It just won't come. Another update for you. Let's go back over to sheet A. Glenn Howard as he plays John Epping. And uh, Howard is sitting the one top of the four. Chance for two? He definitely has a chance for two. And very uncharacteristically, for the second in a row, Wayne Madon has flashed there. on one of his. And it has been Glenn making some Mine's really good. good shots to keep his team whoa, 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 in tracking. good shape. No backing. Chance to convert that first good shot for a second one and a two points. Okay, you're good. So Mine's a bite good. of the Mine's red. Good. Lines we'll good. get him his deuce. Lines good. We call that the forefoot here. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> ah, really, yeah. Little big. Yeah. Hey, nice. Day two ball. starts early. Here we go. <laughs> Five one. Oh, Howard leads. Oh. More to come. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, it was really interesting listening to the players and talking about the weights. Uh, Jeff Stoughton have their little terms, and on the Martin team, they don't talk about numbers. They talk about what it feels like, what it was like in another either end or the throat of the button. The part of the shot I didn't like for Mark Kennedy was they talked about it, then Mark said, I've been heavy on them all, and just went through. I think maybe there was a moment needed to just think a little more about what that speed would be. Big error, Pretty too, by doing that little deep. You can see the situation around. now. That Stoughton Rock's glued on that yellow and buried. Hey. Freeze is right. fine. That's fine. Freeze it up. Take a little bit more ice for David's uh, both turns. A little softer release here. A little slower rotation. One spin. Good. Just I do believe he has a little more room. rotation than he used to, though. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's one rotation. Whoa, whoa guys. Whoa, Probably end up with about two and a quarter. Give it a chance. Lock it on. We whoa. are. We're there. Okay, whoa. Whoa, whoa. It's really good. We're there. Yeah. We're there. There's the line. Lock it on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Lock it on. Lock it on. Yep, 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 yep. Oh, real good, Dave. Nice shot, Dave. Really good. That's a nice bounce back for David Nedowin, considering the two he threw away. In Mark, the third, the okay. homecoming for David Nedowin, Winnipeg-born. 
you have to bear down when you're, when you're yeah. this good because the ice is good, the brushers are good. You've got a simple draw like David had last end. Sometimes you, you put it on autopilot, and that time you really bear down mentally. Yep. Yep. Well, John Mead following up. Trying to red. run something back. Nice. And look at that. How nice is that? The shooter stays right there. The squeezed stone, the squished stone is covered. Sitting one. Shot, John. Just popped. Shot, Johnny. I did pop a little bit. It did uh, move a little bit, and there is a double, but it's still a lovely shot. You're right about them Whoa. needing to be precise and also pretty yes. critical if it doesn't oh, work no out. No kidding, like a run back Hurt. double and stayed buried. Oh, oh, it's a pretty good shot. Oh, 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 oh. One hand, now Great this shot, catcher. Dave. And they'll get away with it. Boy, Nancy. Nice shot, Here's buddy. the answer whether David Neto can throw up weight. Really good throw. Just had to hit it absolutely perfect to slide past that shot, yellow Martin beauty. rock. Hard to get that pass. Yeah, that I didn't realize how be, tough it was to get it by that. Yeah, you had to hit it just right. Knowing the angles, too. Just brilliant shot. And you did. I think it's just it's slower. slower. Not much. Because Johnny stayed, they've got a guard they can use now. Mine's good. It's full eight. From Throwing run back, Wade. He, whoa, whoa, whoa. he dials Top it eight. back now, Three trying to come Top around that center guard. Come on, guys, go. Yep. Nichols on the left, Carruthers on the right. I don't know if that was the lazy handle, but it uh, uh, really, and it also slowed a lot. I'm really not sure about that one. Mm -hmm. I know Mark Nichols is using a slower rock. He's throwing it first in the rotation. I don't know about that one. That's a dream for Kevin Martin. Not only has he got an easy shot, but the, those rocks are staggered with red raises. So if this goes into the forefoot somewhere, which is the red circle, the, uh, the, it'll be tough to remove. It took a little twisty on you. Yeah, everything's finishing. It's curling more today. Yeah. That didn't, that just didn't need to be off. It was, yeah. it was minimum weight. Yeah. Do, you, uh, do you agree with that? Everything's curling a little more today? Yeah, I do. I really do. Uh, the draws of the button, they're taking uh, six inches more, and it seems to be holding. So uh, Hans has got it right where he wants it. Yes, like definitely it. more curl. So the uh, fault there, if, we are, uh, if they're pointing fingers, is that the brushers? When do they miss the... Uh Missed the brush? No, I think it was light. You know, I, I just say I think it was light, and John's right. It could have been brushed maybe a little bit harder, but I think it was the throw. Hard, hard, top butt. Line good. Keep your head up, Keep your head up. Have a look. Right here, guys. Right here. Head up, boys. Right here and right there. Wow. Absolutely hooks around, sucks around to the top four to sit two without last rock here in the fourth. Ah. Got to be a little deeper, yeah. Yep. I was saying to go at the end. They just thought it was still gliding. They're trying to position this based on where those red stones are and trying cool. not to leave an angle yep. for Jeff Stoughton. So that's why at the last it's moment, they're actually trying to brush a little bit more. It just seemed to fudge a little bit there, and in fairness, looked like it was going to bite the button for sure. Great shot, though. Is there room the here, Linda? You can, we're right behind the sheet, and you, Jeff can only see a big two thirds of this. He has to hit two thirds to redirect it. He hits maybe half, it'll go right across the top and miss the shot rock. Okay, guys. Through house. Okay. Sorry, what kind of weight? Through house. Okay. He's going to have to feather that guard. What was he ever? Soft weight being called here. He's taking a ton of ice. Whoa, whoa. Jeff Stoughton and his first. He does have last rock here in four. Down by a couple. Yep. Yep. Nichols, Crothers. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Watch Close that yep. guard come into play whoa. now. Watch yes. that guard come into play now. Got to get it by that guard. one. They did. And just move it back far. No, not enough. Has it stopped? Shot stone. Back of the four. And now I 
don't know. Is getting a little fudgy in there? I mean, Maybe it, it they, didn't seem quite as lively as I expected. It I to don't be. think the front end thought it was that light, and they were really consumed on the line, which is tough. It's so hard to worry about weight and worry about line, but you have to to make them perfect. And just a lick of the broom that was made perfect. Still buried, a good shot, but if Kevin could put this right back where he had it, Jeff will have a tough shot just to score a single. I think he's just a little lighter than the whole team. I think the last two were lighter than they wanted, mm -hmm. and it's really hard to make it glide on this ice. So you have to throw it there, and then the brushers can make sure that it doesn't slow down too much. Don't be heavy, don't be heavy, don't be heavy. It's all there, Dave. Line's good, don't be heavy. Where is it? Top four. Button. Top four. Whoa. Whoa. Not deep, not deep. Up, any marks. Up, not deep, not deep. Not deep, no thin double, no thin double. Get his shot. Ah. Good shot, Kev. Uh, I'm not sure if Martin likes it totally. Too deep. Yeah. Pretty good, though. We can tap it. He can tap oh, yeah. it for a single. Easy. Oh, yeah. Okay, let's see. The main thing was don't, play. don't be deep and set up a double. I know we have to score. You could play like back line or just tap the back a little bit. Okay. <laughs> one dug. And that one just kept moving in. There's no deuce. No. That's the key right there. Two point yep. lead, force him to a single. That was the plan right at the get go of this end. I think these are the hardest shots right now. You, you throw that little bit more than draw away, will it break enough to tap this out? When I still come back to you. Really have to throw the we draw got, and let the brushers make four, that little eight. extra tap. Final stone here in oh. four. Back Martin four. sitting oh. the two. One back, back four, back one oh. on the lid. Just trying yep. to touch that shot oh. stone back if they can. Mine's good. Gotta go Nichols Carruthers okay. got to go, he's the boy say. Beat is right there. Tap it back far enough. Oh, and did he grab enough? It looks like he does. Just by that little bit. To the top of the button. Jeff Stoughton is on the board. 2-1. Martin through four. right now relatively so about minus five overcast but turning much colder here in Winnipeg towards the end of the week as we welcome you back we're at the MTS Center for the Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings the Canadian Curling Trials 2-1 Kevin Martin leads Jeff Stoughton our featured game on this Monday afternoon Stoughton scoring the single in four so it'll be Kevin Martin that has the last rock he has the hammer here in five playing the Yellowstone. We're there, we're there, we're there. Nice. Oh, that matchup you talked about, Russ, has been very interesting. We're talking about teams recovering from mistakes, but also players recovering from mistakes. And as Vic pointed out in the in the third end, David Nedowin had two bad misses. Come four, he makes two beauties and gets his team out of trouble. Did he ever? Just great shots. Close. Room. Well, right now. Yeah, we're right well, to right now. No, Still Max, right to bouncing a bit. Whoa. Yep. Okay, it's past it. No, no. Why? Whoa. Wow. That, that's a little remote control on it. That must have grabbed a little bit. Okay, good. They all seem to be doing something a little yeah. strange from about halfway to the house in. I'm not sure uh, what it is, if it's pebble. <laughs> the stones are just uh, reacting a little differently today. Just getting ready to brush that by, thinking yeah, it was going to be buried awesome. back for a foot, and it took a right hand turn and ended up where they wanted it. Oh, guys, guys, easy. Just clean, all there. Yeah, no bounce. Oh, no off, off, off. No bounce. Off, Mark. Off, Line only. off. Yeah. Line's good. Weight's, Line only. Weight's pretty good. Okay. As we no play bounce. lead stone. Uh, have to curl a mile. It's got to die, will it? Oh, hard. Okay. hard. Line's real good. Hard. hard. <laughs> oh. Oh. Nice shot, Benny. 
boy, Ben Hebert, I'll tell you, the, his shot making was really under, uh, underrated because he's such a good brusher. We talk about that all the time. And when, he, when he first joined the team, and hopefully Benny doesn't hear this, <laughs> when he first joined the team, he, he, he was an average lead at, at this world-class level. I realize he's a powerful yeah, man. Yeah, a big guy. As long as, as long as I can outrun you. <laughs> but he, uh, he makes a ton of finesse shots in the right spots. Yep. Fine. Well, in particular in this Top game, we are seeing the two leads being pressed to make those Coming. angles Hard and line. sit the rocks in exactly the right Hard spot. Hard line! Come on, guys. And Howard Hard. sitting one, two, and three, so that's what's facing John Epping with his last, Kathy. And it's not really been about a series of misses for the Epping team. They're trying to generate some offense down four and have been leaving Howard good, Stones guys. around. On his final stone, Glenn was able to tap back an Epping shot I'm stone, good. and that is why he lies three, needs to get to the forefoot. He should be on the back. He should be on the back. Scott Bailey managing the house. Colin Mitchell, David Mathers, the front end, and there's the single for Epping in four. Howard will have last rock in five. Uh, we've talked about that as we look about uh, Mark Kennedy playing second stones. These teams are so good, Russ that it's really difficult to generate the offense. If you have that opportunity with Last Rock, you better make the most of it. That's so true. It's absolutely, Becky. Yeah, you break it down, you probably have hammer five times in a 10-end game, and you need that deuce or two deuces in there. It's just not easy to do. A guy like Martin's up two points. He'll play a little more defensively. Uh, like he could, this end doesn't go well early. He'll bail out early. Lined up now, or just knows the dark? That's true, yeah. No, no, the red you're, you're like So, where, where am I going? Top 12. Top 12? Yep, top eight. Same weight, guys? Yep. Foot more? Yeah. Mine's good. Top eight! Mine's good. Part of this is the weight, but part of it is getting through that hole. The last one rubbed a little bit. Top four. Room, 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 Top four. Room, room, room. Sorry. Very nice. Here's a good example now on sheet D. Kevin Cooey scored two in the second. There's three blanks, and that's further to your point that teams are so good at this level in this particular competition of defending Cooey could very well try to run that all the way through oh yes exactly and and he has the uh, tools in the in the uh, toolkit to do it Kathy well and he's not settling for two he made a run back triple to blank and so if he can't get two he has the power to just be patient and wait yeah that's even that's that draw pretty good but if we could bump it three inches, that'd be really good. Okay, so just freeze, freeze, freeze. We don't want to bounce like this. No. Even freeze face, pretty good. What else are you looking at? Nose of the guard. They're looking at nose and the guard too. Peel of guards. Ah, straight peel actually, too, pretty good, Mark. It's not bad. He doesn't have the triple. Do you want to call a timeout? No, no. no. Uh, the only other shot, I like your shot, I don't mind it at all. The only other one is, well, if you make it good and you just clip this on the way by, it moves that and sits right there and, and it's your color, lots of good stuff. Yeah, if you ever hit it a little on the outside though and it clips that, that's not so good. The one ends up behind this rock. Kevin wants to do something with this rock here. He, well, that's the key rock at it, this end you, progresses. He, he originally like, called coming around this way and maybe maybe tapping the yellow well, just, just right up into that area and loosening up that red one. But now they've decided with hammer, with a one point yeah, lead, they'll everything. take away the Fine. congestion so out in front up. and they can get at it later. Okay. Feel straight it. peel? Sure. So just All a straight right, peel. I just love the way Mark Kennedy does work with Kevin Martin. Kevin Martin is one of the best strategists in the world ever. So you have to be careful how you approach him, how you intervene in any strategy. But Mark Kennedy does it in a beautiful way. He says, I don't mind your call, but here's an option. Doesn't sell it, just presents it. I think it's fantastic. And again, what a learning curve for the people to watch. You've got four players that could skip at this level. Whether they'd want to skip, who knows? But they 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 all get it. They know what the, what's happening. They know the situation. They know the angles. Easy. Easy. Oh, oh. Good job. 
Ça me Euh, ya. I think you'll see Jeff, he really has no choice. He has to be careful here. He doesn't want to leave those yellow ones there too long. So he hits the red with a lot of weight. The one at the top on the center line right at the top of the 12. He'll probably move to the yellows, but Martin's banking that he can't get all three. And then it's a simpler end for Kevin. He'll have one in the rings and no real guards to be in, the, in his way later. This one will be humming. Playing softer weights, so they're just going to try to hang around Whoa. with this one. Yep, yep. John me. Whoa. Yep. Yep. Hard. Let's get things rattling. And Martin is sitting the one top of the button, covered. Second and third shots belong to Stout. Good shot that I did not see in. And to just update you on the game, Mike McHugh and Brad Jacobs. Jacobs gets one in four, and so they're tied at two. Jacobs with uh, coming in off the win yesterday, uh, McEwen off a loss. Three quarters, get the one off the top of the yeah, four. Just off the nose, Dave. Three quarters of a rock. Interesting call there. I, they, you can see the two yellows on the left. If John throws that exact same sh shot, hits in the same spot, he gets both those out of play. Yep. Now there's yep. a pile of yellow in here. This oh, could get very real dangerous hard. for Jeff Stout. <laughs> real hard! Real hard, real hard, real hard, real hard. Kennedy and Ebert have got him. He's trying to get the red, of course, top eight, and goes by it. Okay. Still yellow in the house, but it is uh, Stout and sitting one, two. Oh, almost. That's a pretty precise angle, but even mm -hmm. so, that's one of the first that's really overcurled early on, yes. Yes. on those hits, anyways. Just a little tighter in half. Okay. Hey, John. It's tight. So you guard for your life now? It's tight. You're starting? Yeah, he could have played the double, yellow double, but it might have uh, jammed on something. And, uh, sat as many as four, but the scoreboard's dictating this uh, strategy decision, I think, Vic. Force Martin into a tough one. Mine's close, guys. Stay with it. Stay with it. Yep. Yep. Hard. Hard, 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 hard. Good, good, good. Good. Shot, guys. That's fair, John. Thanks. I remember when I used to be able to hit and get rocks out of the house. Wow, we couldn't whip it though. I was David. <laughs> so, I think run it. Run it? Yeah. Okay. What do you think, Danny? Okay. But Davey, if you can just get the to top one, yeah. Try to make it to roll your shooter to guard ours, Dave. Okay. I like this call because he's. If, if he can get the shot rock and roll, oh, roll the, uh, the raised rock out of the way, there's only one lone red one. Uh, yellow would be second and third. Still a chance to score a decent uh, amount of points here. David Nedwin and his second stone here in heart, the heart, fifth. Hard, hard, real hard. Heart, 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 your way, your way. Angle this back, heart. gets the shot stone, but leaves the shooter shot, right there. Shot, shot, Dave. shot stone is still nice. stout, oh, sitting full back eight foot. Yeah. Oh, not all the way. The guard for Jeff to work with, but he has to Good be job. very careful if he, if he, he happens to hang this wide. There's a double to sit three. Oh, did you? Yeah, I, halfway down, I was. That was real good. Oh, did you? I did. I was, I was, my lungs were coming out. Yeah. Top four, guys. Okay. okay. Top button.
We've had uh, three blanks in four ends. Cooey leads two nothing. It, uh, we're going to get something here, though, Kathy. Well, we are for sure on Kevin Cooey's last right shot. Right he threw a big Up weight shot on the other side of the house. Tried to roll it right in front of that Yellowstone to be shot. He is shot, but it is open, and so a chance for Jim Cotter for two. So make the double on those two Yellowstones at the back of the eight. Remember now, this is a team skipped by John Morris, who used to play with Kevin Martin, won that gold medal in Vancouver. Now he skips this team, but it is Jim Cotter out of the Vernon and Kelowna Curling Club that throws the fourth stones. Bang, and there they are. And it's two on the board for Morris. 2-2 two -two as they go to the break. Nice job, boys. Nice job. Cheers. Six, six, five. Sure. I'm a bit, you're just setting them right here. And that's the kind of come around draws we're used to seeing Jeff Stout make top of the forefoot. Try to run back one more time. Oh, 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 oh come on. Oh. Yep, yep, Mark, 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 Mark. Mark, Mark. That's good. Oh, oh, oh. oh that's brilliant. <laughs> Rolled over for a guard yeah. and got yeah. the other one. Nice, nice plan B and quick oh. thinking. Good job. That's what I was yelling about. I know. <laughs> the veterans, eh? That was a sly move. He, was, Kevin tried to run this back and get both rocks. I was yelling the last the second, he called the audible. And look what they did by rolling over into this area. It protects both these rocks. Another yellow one here. Jeff Stoughton's got to be big time careful here. I'm sure I can get there, though. Yeah, yeah. Ebert and Mark it's, Kennedy didn't right. know which I mean, way to right turn. Right. <laughs> what, do we, what do we take? Yeah, I don't know if I can still get run across the top. I don't know if I can get by that. I know. And it would oh, still be rough. Really tough to draw, draw another one in there for second double shot. Double yeah. Three, eh? yeah, no, you got to And hitting is scary. Yeah, we're or, guarded, but that's wow. pretty dangerous. Yeah. How did that turn around? Just went out there? Like bumper? Well, yeah, I mean, you're either hitting and rolling or you're freezing. What? Yeah, I just I can't see the intern making that for the freeze. No, no. Out turn it probably end up here. Is that bad? If we, if you were if here, we, if we bumped this a bit and sat with a bit of a pocket, no, so that wouldn't be bad. It makes it. That wouldn't be bad. Makes it. That wouldn't be bad at all. You're playing shaving that. I know what you're saying. I yeah, don't mind just, that. Just you know, move it a bit and sort yeah, of. Yeah, just try and be second. Yeah. Try and be second, that. but then if we slash it, it might be a better. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Think there. Okay. This is a so really sort of, tough this draw. Backing, wait, wait. Yeah, yeah, this the out right turn where you have to cross that redstone top four to get near watch that the line. back yellow and sit second shot. We'll have to careful on the line. <laughs> so they're playing the out turn. Freeze Linda to the back yellow. Freeze a little tap maybe. Boy. Try not to set up a double. Visually it's as ugly as it gets because this look at the broom. He, he has to curl three feet to get by his own red one or he sets up possibly a gimme double for as many as four. So they have to let it curl by, but they has, you heard Jonathan Mead say he has to shave that red one to get the desired angle on the back yellow. And this could easily under curl. Final stone for Jeff Stout. He's shit, sitting the uh, shot stone top four. Second shot is the back edge of the four. Whoa, 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 whoa. Just back in. Not bad. Want to go? As soon as we can. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's got to curl across the top. Got to get way. across yep. their own. Yep. Now they got yep. it. Yep. Now they got to Hard. take it back stay on, stay on, stay on, and sit there. Beauty, Jeff. Hard, Jeff. How that's late did they wait? I know that's where we wanted. I know it really curled the end. Wow. <laughs> yep. Good shot. Just a Thanks. brilliant shot. Oh, where are we? It's not bad. Go for Jones. Want to go? Unless the, this want to can. go, want to go, whoa, can't. Whoa, whoa, it's got to curl across the top of this one a bit. Yep. 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 Hard. Yep. Stay on it. Stay on it. Stay on it. Stay on it. Good shot. The beauty, Jeff. Hard, man. Boy, as brushers, you're, yeah. you just mm -hmm. chomping, aren't you? Just go. Let, let, let me do it tonight. We have to wait. Got to play uh, tough, tough spot though there. Yeah, I know. Oh, I know. Can't know the phone, I guess. No, we can't. Got to roll gotta... a little bit. Well, else? Yeah, just you got to roll just a hair. You do have to roll some, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, see you play the we play the out turn out and, uh, hack. hack quite a bit. Yeah. 
Kevin has no choice. He wanted to play the red double, but you, Jeff set up a bit of a pocket with the red and yellow on an angle, and it would just jam. So has to hit this and has to roll a little bit. Yeah, he has to uh, grab a little more of the uh, the red or the the forefoot, as Kathy calls it. <laughs> Here we go, final stone. Great shot, last shot by Jeff oh, Stout there. Yeah, yeah. Force oh, oh, Martin oh, here oh, into a tough oh, shot of his oh, own. Oh, guys. Oh. Clean, oh, clean. Yeah. Yep. Oh, oh, just across the nose, oh, just a little oh, bit, oh, just a little oh, bit. Can't afford oh. to roll too much, too much. Sit, sit, sit. Oh, okay. ho, and it just does. Oh, oh. It just does. Oh, does that jump? Yeah. One yellow shot. It jumped yeah. on them. Nice shot, Jeff. Eh? Beauty. There you go. Martin just paying him a compliment. What a great shot, Jeff. We're through five. Day two. Tim Hortons, Roar of the Rings. The 2013 Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings is brought to you by World Financial Group, creating a better tomorrow for families today. WFG. Let's bring you up to date on the game between Mike McEwen and Brad Jacobs. Jacobs, of course, the reigning Canadian champion. McEwen out of the Fort Get. Rouge Curling Club here in Whoa. Whoa. Winnipeg. Get. Three no. times in a row he lost the Manitoba final. Last year he lost in the semi-final to Jeff Stout. What a great shot that is. That will just bite enough of the button for the single. He'll go to the break with a 3-2 lead over Jacobs. Well, Jeff Stout, we said just during the break, that shot that Stout made to prevent Martin from getting more than one just may have been the saver for him to keep himself alive. Kevin Martin leads it, and he's with Brian Mujer. Kevin, so far you've really had the heat on Jeff. Take us back to that fifth end. How big was that shot that he just made to get himself out of trouble? Oh, yeah, that was a beauty. He just, just got by his in the top four. If he gets by by a few more inches, it's going to go too far and we have a hit for two. Um, never ticks the red one, it's, and then we have a double, so uh, he made a beauty. Are you happy with the way your squad has played? Obviously, Dave is a new addition. Your thoughts on how you've played so far? Yeah, things are going pretty well. You know, we've, we've uh, Dave's made a couple of real important ones to get ourselves out of trouble when, when Jeff's had us in trouble. So, uh, so far, so good. It'll be a battle going down the stretch here. And final one, how's the back holding up so far? It's early, but how are you feeling? Yeah, we're feeling okay. So we're, we're hanging in there. It's nice that it's hot in here. <laughs> Thanks for your time. Thanks. It is hot in the building. That has been a concern, particularly for the ice makers. The uh, numbers after five. Right? Well, it's been obvious in the first five that Stoughton team is struggling a little bit with the draw weight. But the battle of skips is interesting because you have Kevin Martin at 98%. Jeff Stoughton's only at 78%. But I think the shots from Jeff Stoughton that have made the difference, like in the last end, have told a lot of the story so far. And Stoughton's still within reach. The numbers after five are brought to you by Tim Hortons, Canada's favorite coffee. They lead 3-1, trying to win two straight out of the gate here in Winnipeg. The 2013 Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings is brought to you by Cashmere Bathroom Tissue. Nothing feels like cashmere. By M&M Meat Shops, frozen food at its best. And by Capital One, what's in your wallet? Before we get back to our feature game, look at this on A. What a mess, Kathy. <laughs> that segue is always so attractive. <laughs> you know what, for Galani, he's just trying to slash yellow sideways, push his own pot back towards the button to try to score two. By John Epping. Red onto yellow, onto yellow sideways. Oh my. Yes. Oh, my. oh goodness, to squeeze that in there. That one for sure. For two. <laughs> and a 7-2 lead. Yeah, that will make you smile. Glenn Howard uh, looking a little more confident today after struggling yesterday in a loss. Our featured game on this Monday afternoon, day two. Jeff Stout and Kevin Martin. Martin getting that single in five to lead 3-1 as we welcome you back. Sixth in, Stoughton. We'll have Last Rock playing the Red Stones. Do you agree with me that that was for Stoughton? And 
at that point in time uh, if he was to have any hope. Not to be too oh, dramatic knows. here, but if he was to give up Lions more than head. one there, that his Olympic dream may have ended today. Lions Again, head. because of the fact short round robin, falling down, losing your first two is really difficult to come back. Oh, I agree. I really do. Because, you know, Good. you give up two or three there, possibly a four if he's ticked that top one. And it was on the top one for like 23 seconds. Just curled at the last second to put it exactly where he wanted it. Martin makes maybe a gimme double for four. They actually shake hands virtually. That game's over. And 0-2 oh and two. now Stoughton's won five games in a row before one of the best teams in the world and they would not give up But with this field to win five in a row. Oh boy well, that was there, guys. Yeah, I A little bit for line Line only okay. How's Wait, the should be close guys? Oh, okay, well then close it's heavy right now. Oh, yep. let's pick it Jeez. Hard Hard, it's definitely never different hard, ice in this off, draw. Off, Even from off, this morning, off. we saw it a little bit straighter, hard. and the rocks were gliding. Yeah, Here, it's curling a little more, yeah, but they bit. said it was picking. It has that funny up, yeah. look to it. Yeah. 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 Good. You heard the Stoughton team last night on well, GD okay, talking about good. the uh, footprints. And that tends to happen when the ice surface gets a little greasy because it's a hair too warm. And it's nearly impossible for Hans uh, to. Uh, control the temperature you don't know how big the crowd's going to be you don't know how much moisture is coming in but they actually that actually story they picked yeah. a little bit and they still made it perfect you also made the point yesterday linda about hard line still there the players and getting warm feet and that uh, heat being transferred going, through their Keep shoes bouncing. to the ice and that helps as well and and the kind of pressure <laughs> at the uh, pushers. No, oh, it's exert, amazing, right? yes. Now, we're not complaining about the ice. We just feel that the players have to keep adapting. That's part of the game, and that's what I was so impressed about with Kevin Martin. I mean, he's curling 98%, so I think he's yeah, adjusted pretty bad. well. Yeah. 96% yesterday, and actually at the moment, Ben Hebert's at 100%, so they're figuring it out very nicely. It's just a little more challenging when each day it's slightly different. Stoughton, who's down a couple here, is also at 98, so it's a lot of good shots being made here. That tells you how great the ice is. The angles for Stoughton here, though, the two uh, reds are uh, very, very handy to pay, tap out those yellows at any Wait's point. going to be fairly tight. How's the weight? Weight's good. Top 12. Yep. Top 12. Heart. It's all there. Heart. All down. Got to get a bye. Oh. 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 Real good, Mark. Nice. Good shoot, guys. Well, now we can't see yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's, that's true. Yeah. That's true. Teams practice this now all the time in, their, in their practices sessions and getting the exact one. right angles. And you learn when there's this many rocks in play, you learn how to miss. You learn where to how to throw the tendencies, where the, the angle should be to make the next shot. And it's all about setup shots, as you always say, Linda. Both teams have done a wonderful job of the angles here. It's good. Reedy will try to freeze to his own red one, which will definitely eliminate a yellow at one point in time. Can't bounce open. Walmart. Yep. No. Yep. 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 Good. Shot read. Okay. See where that red red combo will go. It'll take out a yellow. Shot read. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's going to be a curl to touch, but. I think get to the inside of that probably. Does have the it's interesting we had the two blank here, ends to start and That's actually right. in those ends there was a couple of angles but this is where it starts to get challenging you have so many rocks so many options for both teams you have oh, to yeah. really That's survey the environment what happens if I get to the inside of somebody this hit something makes this double he makes that double and then we're not really don't, don't ask me just, yeah. don't ask me right on to that one it just it opens and he up bumps our, it into a pocket well it opens up the two Pumps it into a pocket. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, if it ever hung and we hit it on the nose, boy, you move that over into here, oh, we are in a heap of trouble. Kevin's really concerned about these two reds, and there's nothing he can do I mean, about this, it. He can't, this, if we he made can't this. hit it out this way. 
because his own saves it, and it's he can't really get at it the other way. You might you might even see him come off this rock here, going that way, and try to remove at least one red out the right hand side. Is he going to be the end of the world? No guard. Wait, what? If you do tick this. Yeah. And then oh, this, he know, this one's sitting right there. He hits it on the nose. He owns a house. Geez, if you made this, like we're sitting there and it's not okay. a bonanza, but if you ever miss it, no, I'm a little scared of that. <clears throat> well, I think that's probably the shot. Do you then. want to play that with control just to stay around there in front, or do you want to throw with weight? Uh, doesn't. I think. Well, I don't mind control. You can't play the in off. I don't mind control. Okay. Like this isn't. Okay. Control, boys. Not this. Yeah. Ambush. Like that? Interesting. Well, the. Uh, yeah. Hair high. Go ahead, Russ, please. Right, right onto that. Sorry, Vic. I think they're just going to play a softer shot. They talked about doing this one over that way. They're just going to play the softer shot and, and try to run this one through. And as you heard Kevin say, a really neat point, they own the house. All he's saying is their rocks, the angles are better for Stoughton than they are for uh, Team Martin. And so they're going to try to jiggle that around. Funny how Mark Kennedy in this situation stayed away, Linda. Whereas before we saw him down and done. Yeah, there's enough voices and there is a little concerned about time yep. clocks when you take that much time over one shot. Oh! Oh! Clean? No, off. Oh! Sure. Oh, really good, Dave. Nice shot, Dave. Beauty. Good shot, Dave. All right. Nice, nice. Well, he wait. really has picked up his game after those. Uh, that was the call, eh? Those yeah, two misses. Yeah. Yeah, that's why I want to control, I like just that. make sure we stay around. Oh, oh, oh. He picked, yeah, he did. He, he say, suggested he the weight. Before, and make them all go, John. Kevin Martin bought in. Stay around, wait. And that's a that's a trait that I think he brings to this team. I think Martin would have asked for peel weight on that shot, and uh, Furby would have played that exact shot the other way. So that's how Nedowin learned. And uh, hanging around is huge there. Now the yellow rays, ah. the two reds might disappear if they get a chance at it. So all of a sudden it's switched yeah. around quite a bit. So John Mead's trying to move both those yellows by hitting them in the crotch. These angles though are tough and uh, as the weight changes and the release changes, they're gonna run a little bit differently. This is more weight. Whoa. Yeah. John Morris, Kevin oh. Cooey in a two-two tie. Whoa. Six Whoa. from Cooey's last coming up, Cassie. Whoa. It is, and you know, the, uh, on the very last shot of Jim Cotter's, they played it a little bit cute. John Morris did not call the sweepers on. They just rubbed a top stone, and so instead of sitting right in front of the forefoot and making the shot really tough, it's a draw biting the forefoot, and that's a lot easier than I think Kevin Cooey thought he would have for two. Sitting shot stone at the moment, center line, top four. It's good, though. Good. Line's good. Nolan Thiessen on the uh, left part of right drop. You hear Pat Simmons. And there it is for the deuce. They retake the lead, Kevin Cooey. Yeah. Yeah. You can half rock. Yeah, I think so, Kev. Because this is not ideal. Oh, it's, you have to hit it very bad. Yeah. Really bad. yeah. Okay, I like it. Okay. Yep. You can hit. No. You can hit. They run real nice here. Okay. We're going to try the in off off their own rock here and eliminate the closest red. Now this is where I would think with the soft release with David, they have to be careful here. This could curl quite a bit. I'm assuming that's in turn ice. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it should be. Yes. <laughs> It's a little it? like uh, skins play where you uh, aren't as worried about removing your own. It's all about trying to find a way to manipulate into yeah, the middle. Yeah. A great end here for strategy, a wonderful end. Both teams trying to get the positions in the proper order. Yep, I think so. Edwin's last and picked up right away. Hard, hard, guys. Kennedy and Hebert. Hard. You can hear Mark hard. calling one. Hard, boys, hard, boys. Off and get come on, across on, and on, squirt it out and it'll Sorry. sit. I touched this edge. Off of yeah. the eight. I don't know, but have a little quick look at the replays. I definitely kicked it. And uh, so see where, just see where Ben Hebert is saying okay. that he may have touched that before, stone. Guys. He thinks Point he definitely room. touched the stone. Stop Center the line, clock. top 12. Stop clock, clock then. There. Watch it here. He said he just gave hey, it a little stop. nudge. Didn't didn't stop their clock. Thanks, guys. Our clock's okay. running, guys. 
Yeah. Darn it. Well, just as his foot was coming over the top of that redstone top oh, 12, boy. he pushed it in maybe a fraction. Uh, he hit it perfect. Yeah. But for the moment, it is uh, Martin turning this end around as he sits the two, but uh, without last rock. As the Stoughton team has called the first of their timeouts available. You'd have to throw it pretty hard to get that yellow one out because it's not a John. lot of rock on it. I know, that's what I was thinking. You'd have to throw it pretty hard, which is. Yeah. You got to make it. Like that, yeah. Reed? Yeah. Reed. Still, like le that? yeah. Leaves him, well, yeah. whatever, but. So you see the time available. Yeah, even this, this team is well, given this 40 bad, minutes. This, this is going to come close to going right here. That's right. thinking time. I'm just worried about this one He's not going anywhere. Today. Well, yeah, no, you throw it with firm, right? You throw it with firm, try and roll this here. Yo, that's what I originally call. I just wanted to agree on the weight. I think you uh, as long as this is the one I'm worried about not going anywhere. No, I know. If you hit, if you throw it with firm, it's going for sure. And yeah. I, you hit three quarter high. Yeah, it should go. You should be able to. The back to... one will go for sure. Okay. The only way it's not going is if I cross it. Yeah. I think I can hit, and I think if I hit a little thin, it just goes straight onto this. Yeah, I'd love to shoot to hold the shooter right here. Oh no, I get it. Yeah. Then you might not get rid of the. That middle, that back yeah, one. Just, I'd like to get rid of one of theirs now, but. Sure. Firm three quarters of it? Yeah. <laughs> what they're trying to do, try to get re remove this one by playing the double raise, but it's where are they going to go? They want to hit it a little on this side to save their thrown rock over here somewhere. And if they get it just right, the top red one that's being raised might go over to this catcher and stay in that position there. And there's a pile of red all of a sudden in the rings. Has to be perfect. Checking in on Mike McHugh and Jacobs, 3 2 as they play in six. And Redstone back four. That belongs to McHugh. And final stone coming up for the reigning Canadian champion, Kathy. Well, he's got a chance for two. Mike McHugh and tried to roll a stone Whoa. underneath that guard. It rolled too far. And so this is wide open. John Meads Roll's on the way. So there are those pile of reds. I mean, shot stone is wide open. That belongs to Martin, but second, third shot. They belong to Stout. As we watch the stone from Brad Jacobs picked up by the Harden brothers. And it'll sit for the deuce, and Jacobs will take the lead. What a great end. It's been back and forth. Yeah. Series of freezes. Where, where do we go? Yes, we have the only other shot is just to get this onto here and yeah, stick it. Yeah, no, no. So, but yeah, okay, we'll put one there. T line. Okay. All of a sudden, it's a lone yellow. There's Mark. a great spot for this rock to go mm -hmm. because the redstone that is second shot is behind the T line, but you can't just walk it down and place it there. You actually have to throw it there. and. That's challenging to begin with. You can't think about the fact there's all those reds in there. Just throw it well and let the brushers guide it in. Right on the T-line. Played this spot very often across in the center line. The speed should be perfect, and you've got the great brusher. But if this isn't in the eight foot, it's a hit to sit four. Kevin Martin and heavy. his yeah, first. Oh, oh, just actually, on the back side of the T line, oh, guys. Oh, we know. Oh, 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 oh. Lot of room. Ton of room. Can't. No, oh, well, ton of room. Well then. Ton of room. Boy, this is a. Whoa. Girl. Kennedy and Ebert, not oh. their kind of shot. Oh, they like to drag everything down there and help it. This is a little hot, and it okay. will slide okay. to the back edge. So it is third shot, but. Second stone is the red. Shot rock remains top of the button. Martin. Darn, just a hair hit. Hey, yeah, if it's an inch shorter, it's actually pretty good. Good throw. Kevin will be happy with that one. This is an inch heavy, but really with those brushers, it's more like four That's or five feet heavy. Be, but then he's freezing, right? Yeah, well, good on him. Yeah, I think maybe that's better. Okay. Still in front of the T line, so it's not that bad. Yeah, playing the freeze like probably, right? Okay. Bumper? 
Okay. Use the freeze, like, Bumper up. It's like a yeah, I like that. Up. A little flatter roll. Yeah. That was a little fortunate you didn't go a foot deeper. We're going to tuck this mm -hmm. over. It's a free crack. It. That's really his first mistake. Mm -hmm. He's played yes. so well in this game. Bumper up, guys. Hit. Dead behind that one, Jeff? Yeah. Okay. They're half open, it's not bad. Just get a little tucked in there. Okay. Out and down by a couple as we play here in six. Looking for the, the hit and then the flip in behind his stone sitting top edge of the 12. Get across the nose. Okay, that's fine. Couldn't. Nose isn't even bad. No, no, nose is okay too, yeah. Just board weight. All right. Don't want to roll too far. No, no. We'll play for nose and at nose. the end if we can get nose the rolls fine. on. Yeah. Board weight right there. All right. I'll roll my way a bit. Yeah. Well, he has to stay on this side of the sheet. He'd love to roll into that area because if Kevin happens to roll maybe to David's broom, there will be a double opportunity here to peel a couple out and score at least two, Board maybe weight. three for Jeff Stoughton. So it's important to stay on the left-hand half for Kevin on this one. Maybe roll a foot to the left-hand side, and that will take away a big score. Now you can tell that Kevin knows he's been in trouble because he said a roll would be Board. nice, but and the body is we have to put this one oh. in a position where it's sitting one-two oh, and there's no curl. double. Close off. Boy, this isn't moving very oh, much at all. Oh, now it gets to that line yep. and yep. 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 wanting yep. to yep. stay yep. on yep. that Hard. side, Hard. Hard. and he Hard. will Hard. not. And now trying to plan B and roll it over on the corner. Wow. I oh, thought maybe oh, they oh. lost the plan B because they waited so long, but that's how far outside that rock was hanging. Oh, oh man, how he gets close. How he's saying that looks pretty good. It looks pretty good when it finishes, but right here you're panicking. That stops there. Right there, it's a gimme double for four for Jeff Stout. Actually, it would have been easier if we rolled more. No. For two. Yeah. That rock would have they just were the veteran call That's changed so their hard, minds eh? swept at the last second if they do not sweep yeah, it at the I'm end that would have ended up there this would have been such an easy shot for a guy like jeff for four points this i'm fun. not convinced that this, this six comes all the way this way i'm not convinced it just doesn't come right to there well, that's, that's good that's, that's good what we want we want it dead not this and get it out right what do you think mark yeah i guess it could go across the top of that yeah uh -huh. What? What's like, that? Yeah, I know he's rolling the other here way. Here with firm? With firm weight? Do you think this would go? Or is it going to go too much? That's what I'd be worried about. Too much? Right? It's, mm. almost, it's almost a nose. It's almost like, you know, like throwing peel and hitting it just off nose. Yeah. Or firm weight anyways. Or can I dead nut it? I think you can. I think you can. Why don't I dead nut it and we tick this one on the way by and we get three? I don't. I don't. It doesn't doesn't touch the yellow. Doesn't touch mm -hmm. that. I don't think it touches it, Jeff. No, it's pretty tough. I think the I think the red's just in the way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what about this? That's what I said. That's what I said. For one. No. What? If you hit it here, it's for four. Oh, like four. crotch it, you mean? It's for four. Right on tick tick. Yeah. It's half a rock. This, what do you guys want to do? This might be for for three though. Get it right. It's hooked on a pretty good read. I just think it's gonna deflect it just enough to sit hit right here. Yeah, I, like I don't think it comes to this side of it. No, no, there's no way it kicks it that far. Hmm. It's, what do you guys want to do? We can draw for one. No? Yeah, one, whichever well, way being, you want to play uh, this, I do like that half shot. Shake it off, drawing the you get a draw one. one. Whichever one I mean, you like, like it's I'd, thinner than you think, right? You got to hit it right here, and you got to hit it hard. Yeah, you got to touch the five rock first. Barely. So you got to hit it. Yeah, we I have just, to hit the five. You just got to hit there. 
this here might be for, like, if you hit it right on the nose, it might be for two. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I think you're trying to hit it to roll in. Yeah. Make the roll peel. And if you nose it, it's either one. Whichever Which one, one you, you like. like. I like take. I like going from taking a shot at it. Yeah. Though. What are you trying to you hit the seven? Mm. Yeah. I like Mark. Uh, Mark's call. Yeah, he wanted I, I to appeal weight here. It's going to yeah, redirect the red off the yellow and get yeah, that I one there so that this way you can get ideally he stays for two. Yeah, and so because right. he's throwing it so hard, okay. the thrown rock will come down and roll this way, and you can score as many as three. But he sees a possible four here too, right? Using the opposition rock is a very tricky shot. Yeah, he's trying to run the yellow onto the yellow-red combo. And then that red will go back onto the back the yellow. yellow. Exactly, Vic, yeah. but just a hair offline and they could steal as many as two certainly a steal of one here against Kevin Martin late in the game yikes I like the other one because I think you're going to score neither one of them are gimmies this has to be so perfect right now Martin has stolen points hitting T-line in the eight foot Stoughton's last here in six hit this right move in one two one it is only one it is yeah. only. Oh, oh man, that was close. What a brilliant try. As this come in, now watch that yellow go. That red just didn't move it far enough. And so that red stone halfway in the eight is the only point for Stout. Down three, two. Team Jones is, is a really good team and we enjoy playing them. They're really good competition. They'll be tough to beat. We'll have to be on top of our game. We obviously just want to look one rock at a time and one shot at a time and not look too far into the future, but you dream of being an Olympian. You dream of having that last shot to win and representing Canada at the greatest sporting event in the world. Just trying to stay in the moment and focus on our performance and not get too ahead of ourselves and just do what we can and do what we've trained to do all season. Jennifer Jones comes into tonight's draw and make a note on TSN 2, 7.30 Eastern Time, winning two straight. And uh, earlier today, she stole 2 and 11 to beat Cherry Madaw. Val Sweeting, many people say this is the, uh, the sleeper team out of the Savile Community Sports Center in Edmonton. She wins two in a row to start earlier today. A win over Stephanie Lott. That will be our feature game when we join you this evening, 7.30 Eastern Time. And again on TSN 2. The crowd thought that Jeff Stoughton maybe had more. They liked the way that raise was made, but when they all settled, it was just the single for Stoughton in six. And so here in seven, Kevin Martin continues to lead it. He's up 3 2, and Martin also has the last rock. He has the hammer playing the Yellowstones. What a great end. They're great angles, beautiful rock positionings. Uh, Kevin looked like he had control late and the only bad rock he's probably thrown so far in the two games is He's been brilliant, but he got really lucky where that rock ended up if it doesn't roll quite as far Jeff's scoring four And after an end where we saw brilliant shot making interesting angles what a crazy start to this end We had Mark Nichols ask for a guard out in front it slid in so you think oh no Kevin Martin, though, plays to hit it. Then Hebert rolls out. So two mistakes with first stones. Then the guard is played and made. Kevin Martin is trying to keep this wide open, so he does draw into the open. And Jeff Stoughton had to make a choice there. Ignore the stone in the rings and draw around the guard or hit. The hit was played, so here comes the angle double attempt. Come on in. Close. Back. No. Get it. Oh. Wow. What a weapon. Mark Kennedy. Beautiful shot. Right from the first end. Yeah. We saw that. Incredible. Thanks, man. Just enough. Now, I know that. Yes. Uh, it's an air thicker for four for fun. Yeah. You joked about it, about left hands, but I, I, I am curious. Do you think there is something about, is it a little more difficult, or is it just the. The way you ice, the way you call the ice. Yeah, it's just, it's just, it's just your team playing enough games together, and of course this team has to figure out exactly how the rocks are going to react. We, we all feel that an out turn for either side will run a little straighter than an in turn. So, 
you have to match up his straight turn against everybody else's swingy turn and vice versa. Yep. So it's just up to the old bear to put the broom in the right spot. And he's pretty good at that. But when we talk about skipping, most of the time as a skip, you have to deal with four slightly different deliveries. You're not getting the cookie cutter player from position to position as we watch this peel. Hard. So even if you don't have a left-hander on the team, sometimes you have a person like, for example, we talk about David Nedowin, whose stones curl a little more. We have somebody that maybe floats an outturn that goes a little straighter even than yours. So most of the time, it's not just ice reading, it's delivery reading and matching those two things together. I've seen so many really good players or good teams self-destruct because they don't realize that exactly what you just said. You can't be putting the broom in the same spot all the time for every player. They're not machines. They all throw differently. Ideally, have four releases identical. But you see Reed. the Holman team, for instance, Maybe throw it inside more. out. Martin's out turn's always been soft. It's two different spots. Yeah, you have to put the broom. And it, it, the best skips, the ones that win, figure that out first. So when we see Linda, everybody, for the most part, wait, John. most of the deliveries now are the flat foot balanced delivery. That's one thing. It's the actual release of the stone you're saying that is the most critical. Yeah, there's a lot of aspects. The release definitely does a lot to it, but some people even slide a little bit different online and then put the stone in or out. So yeah, there's a lot to the delivery and you have to get to know your players and manage both the delivery and then match the ice to it. That's exactly what Kevin Burton dreamt up in the playbook here is to blank this end he loves to have hammer and even ends and in this case with a one point lead he'd love to have a blank so let me ask you the question when just Souten had the chance to either draw around the guard or hit what would you have done early in this end you mean yes yeah draw around the guard yeah so you're absolutely right, right now. Looks pretty good. he was taking a chance on a rollout which is exactly what happened right here guys a little there he threw a guard up for a reason and uh, why not use it yep yep Yep. Keep going. That's good. That's good. 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 Try it, John. Try it, John. I'll tell you one thing. There won't be a chance to take that risk next time. Brad Jacobs with a 4-3 lead. Kathy and two yellows covered, buried. Sitting for Jacobs, yep. Mike McEwen's last coming up. Well, and this is a real emotion shot for Mike McEwen. Matt's second one caught some debris and went sideways, and Mike was pretty darn upset about it. On his first one, he made a run back double just to get rid of some of the yellow in the forefoot, but he's able to make this shot. That pick means nothing. It's about settling down your emotion to make the last shot. So he needs to uh, just have a, a bite of the button. He does. Matt was the yak on the left. Kenny Newfeld on the right, and they have backed right off this now. This needs to bend and dig in, and those emotions, did they play a factor here as he's heavy? And it's a steal of two, Jacobs. It's interesting where we went from Mike to Jeff because I think there's a lot of players in early in their careers that did struggle with emotional control after something happened on the ice that was a negative thing. And I think Jeff might have been one of those players over the years, but he now is so cool. You have no idea. Maybe he has some emotions inside, but he's so good at looking cool and recovering. And that is something you have to be able to do. Yeah, he's one of the best for sure at that. Good. Sometimes you'll try to roll this to the back of the ring so that your next shot's easier. And you try to roll out. Clean. Just a little bit more. I don't think I've answered this yet with regards to David Nedowin. Told every told you the story about him getting the, the call from Kevin Martin. But after all those years Nedowin spent with Randy Furby, 
Nice. Did he have to adjust his game to fit with Kevin Martin, or was it something that Kevin Martin liked about the way he played? I mean, they played against each other all those years, so they yep. Yep. He knew what he was getting. But I'm just wondering if, I mean, if you're taking a, a, a if you're right, looking to fill a spot, if you're on a hockey team, for example, whatever team it is, Good. you're bringing somebody in, they have to adjust to your system. Did, did Neto would have to make some adjustments. A little weird turn. Not much. I think the only real adjustment, I think, in the the, the Furby style and the Martin style was uh, the Furby team played a lot more soft shots. Uh, the Martin team's doing that more in the last few years. But we saw an example of it a little while ago. David ran a guard in, and I think Kevin would have called peel weight. David said, look, I can actually save the shooter if I run this in with softer weight. So I think it, they're helping each other. And uh, But they, they both know the game so well. And, and what I love about the pickup for this team of Martin is David Nedewan through Skip Rocks for so long and was so successful. So to throw Vice Rocks, I don't think there's any big adjustment for him at all. Final stone yep. here in seven, looking for the right. blade. Hard, 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 hard. Oh, clean, good. That's Throw. the uh, power of those brushes just to hold that stone up when it looks like it's curling. A blank on the board in seven. Martin continues to lead and hold the last rock. We said before the game began how difficult it is. This round robin, just seven games. Should you lose your first two? Jeff Stout is trailing here. 3 2. Kevin right, Martin, uh, as we welcome you, you back, we go to the eighth. Yeah, Martin, you gotta go. Martin that does have the last rock playing the yellow stones. Not that it's impossible, but the field is so deep, oh, so really experienced. Good. Fight it, Mark. Oh, and it'll be very difficult sure. for a, a team whoa, to come whoa. back from two losses. And when you look at the women's standards, remembering tonight our featured game will be the back. leaders, Sweeting against Jones. Look at who's at the bottom of the table with two straight losses. Stephanie Lawton, two times Saskatchewan champion. Heather Nedwin, Canadian champion. So it's going to be a long way back for those uh, for those teams. Room right now. Room. See line. Room right now. Room. Close. Just T Jeff. Room. Close. Room. Small tap. Whoa. Still too much room. Whoa. Getting better, but still too much no, room. No, no. John? Go now, go now, go now, go now. Good. Good, good shot. It's a good shot. Great weight. Getting to the inside. That's the secret with these uh, freezes. You leave it open, then the red one can be raised onto Martin's yellow. So Ben Hebert's going to ask to come across that center line. He had the same heavy on that. Scare the guard and try to get to the right hand oh, half of the off. sheet. Off mark. It's not close. It's top four. Okay. Just for line. We're Never. Bumper. Top four. Um, button. It's supposed to be button. top 12, and they're saying that it's heavy. So now yeah, trying to manage okay. these angles will be uh, tougher for Kevin. Yep, yep, yep. Jeez. That's trouble. Potentially. Not off. Come on, Dad. <laughs> Jesus. You see, this is. Hair across face. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I, yeah. At just this out? level. I mean, it's. Just, just biting. Like, just, just it's like out watching me. the Angels compared yeah. to pond hockey. It's yeah. true. Right. Real I mean, tight. It's yeah, just the out. guy in the club is looking at this going, well, what? Yeah. Gee, I'm really yeah. happy with that. <laughs> they're thinking they're slamming brooms, and Kevin is saying that's <laughs> trouble. Well, you have to remember, I talked about Jeff Stoughton making a choice last end about a come around versus a right, hit, whether to take guys. some risk and try and rings. really push it, maybe oh, have a chance for oh, steal, but definitely I'm make 12. it so that somebody scored last Mine's end good. so we oh, can have good. a hammer and eight. This oh, end, Jeff Stoughton has to do it. So Kevin Martin doesn't want any of those kinds of mistakes because he's just handing Jeff the chance now to set the rocks up in a better position. Not bad, not bad, not bad. I don't think we want to freeze it. Shot, Reed. Nice, Reed. Hey, Reed. Know. He's going to bail here now. The scoreboard dictates that one up with Hammer. If it, Kevin can blank this in or just score a single, he's got a very good chance of winning this game. Hey guys, it's time to time to move some granite. Mark. Good throw. Guard that yellow. Nice, Mark. What's that? Guard that yellow. Hey. Dead in between both. Yeah, yeah he can't do anything with his yellow. His, his, his nose is oh, you're guarding a red. 
Half. Halfway, guys. Did you say half? Yeah. Okay. Straight guard, not too deep. It's tough for Kevin to raise his yellow because it just raises the red under the shot really rock. Line's really tight, guys. Whoa, 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 whoa. Line's real tight. Whoa. It's the only game whoa. of the day for the men. Lines. The women are playing two draws today. The men will be on the ice twice tomorrow. Stop, 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 stop. Okay, Reed. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, Reed. Reed will not be happy with that. Okay, Reed, good wait. But Kevin might make a play, tap the yellow back a foot or so. Just calling the peel. Slider pick. Mine? Mine. Oh, shoot, Mark. You hear that? <laughs> there it is. Yeah. Ben caught something under his slider. Fortunately, not under the rock, but that yeah. um, and he didn't sweep. This way, he guys. just went back to clean it up. Keeps. There you go. There you go. Jeff has to make a move here pretty soon. Top button, John. Top bouton. Around everything here, try to become shot rock. Tough shot. His concentration yeah. is the arena Our line. reacts me. to what's going on in another Our game line. featuring the, the Winnipeg-based yep. team, Mike McEwen. Yep, yep. I'm still there. Oh, no. oh, just a little rub and roll oh, off now. Okay. Well, that side has done it several times yes. where it looks fine and suddenly as it's coming into the house, it really does go sideways. You uh, said when we came on the air. Yeah, lots of time. Come and have a look at the angles. Yeah. Russ, that you were uh, the battle of the thirds. Yeah. Who's, uh, whose advantage is it? This gentleman here, David yeah, Edwin? Well, they both, made a lot of, they both made a lot of well, shots. And, uh, but I think That's some of David's, I think his percentage was a hair I lower than Jonathan's. But like he's made a couple of real That's key good. ones when well, you know, well, Kevin Martin's needed them. So I'd say advantage to David Edwin, actually. Normal up here, Dave. Should run nice and straight here, Dave. Too. Chance nice to remove two here. reds. Little, the Mark. one that Kevin's got his broom on. That'll redirect the yellow onto the left one that John just threw. And maybe if they're lucky, maybe even kick that other red off to the side a little bit. But I, I think it's just going to get the two of them. They'll be quite happy with that. And uh, all of a sudden, Stoughton has to worry about a multiple score by Martin. One little error. It's all it takes. Whoa, yep. Yep. Right. Whoa. Whoa. Yep. Really close. Yep. Whoa. Watch the shooter a little bit. Spin. Nice shot, Dave. Nice throw, buddy. Nice, Dave. Threw right at it? Yeah. Where you need to hit it? Yeah. Sauce, Dave. That was a peach. Whenever I played Dave Nettowin in the past, if it was incredibly swingy, he sometimes struggled with that slow rotation. And this little bit less curl than some of the briars we see, I think is a big advantage for David. I think he'll be really tough the rest of the week. Three quarter. Tell you, this is not what Jeff Stoughton yep. wanted to yeah. be doing. He was hoping to be able to play yeah. some soft shots, having to play the hits. Right, whoa, 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 whoa. Watch that, whoa. Very, very nice. Good shot. Good shot. Just haven't had much to cheer about the crowd. And... Good shot. It's a great shot. The angle was perfect. They rolled a sit too. The only thing is, it's exactly what Kevin Martin wanted. A fairly open looking house, a chance to play a run back here. This is a key shot for David. They get the angle right. They can not only so make the run back, but maybe early, but kick yeah, over to that other red. We don't have to oh, wait, it was Things bowling. could open right up. 
just played it. He should be close. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, that, oh. Oh. that was a flare on the release. Yeah, a little extra weight. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Hard hard hard. Oh, got it. Oh, good oh, yeah. So oh, terrific. God. God, Dave. <laughs> they were a little worried at first, but nice shot. Never in doubt. <laughs> Never in doubt. <laughs> Beauty. Hey, Medzi. Is that dirty? <laughs> uh, yeah, I was playing B. Great throw. A little back from what I wanted, but didn't give it to the sweepers. But uh, that's right. Yeah. Didn't want to miss that tight, though, and leave a center guard. No. Eagles top button. Yeah. And how things turned around. The one rub on John Meade trying to play a draw, yeah. and everything went the way of Kevin Martin. And you know, John's was, you know, you, you throw it about 146 feet, and when it get to the far end, it was a quarter of an inch narrow. Like, it was so close to being perfect. And uh, now, an actual shot at a deuce here. Kathy. Well, no such shot for a deuce for John Epping. Yep. You can see those four yellow stones belonging to Glenn yep. Howard. John actually played a hit on his first one to try to give him some airspace to get to shot. There is certainly a shot there. He needs full eight foot for one. He would still be down Mine's three. That's good, guys. Saw Jeff Stoughton's stone slide underneath Martin, and now this is split the house Shut and Shut run with your two if you can. And there's the single for John Epping. I heard the same thing. Yeah, I never said a thing. What would the uh, miscommunication well, be? Less than six. I think they felt somebody oh, else oh. called sweeping, and that's it why it uh, oh. was a, a thought of brushing that one. From another sheet, right. Yeah, well, that's, a, that's a hugely bad time yeah, break. Just in front. Kevin yeah, just doesn't want to set up the double here. In front of the tee, no freeze. Just in front of the tee. Oh, the tee. Oh, yeah, that's good, Mark. That's good. There's no double. Yeah. Hard enough. Hard enough. Nice. Good sweep. Nice sweep. 3-2 on the board, close there. What about the numbers? Well, the man with the incredible curling trials record, Kevin Martin, has the incredible numbers so far, 95%. And look at the balance. Uh, the draws are just about as good as the hits. We know he can hit beautifully. It's been tough for Jeff Stoughton. He hasn't really had the setup shots, but his numbers are far behind those of Kevin Martin. Player numbers are brought to you by Capital One. What's in your wallet? Interesting how that works. When you think back to David, David Nedowin's shot, which you might be wrongly believe he may have gotten away with, makes no. the double, and then Stoughton, no. yep. the miscommunication, no. and the stone slides underneath. Yeah, right? just, just, just a fraction. Yeah. You know, it makes such a difference in the game. and. Uh, Looks like a three-point lead here, and it's a uh, big trouble for the Stoughton team. Yeah, I think David was playing the run back one, and it looked like a little wide, and uh, Kevin, as usual, was smart enough to you know, brush at the last second and redirected that double. That was a great shot. I'm trying to throw you a half weight, maybe board, okay. board max. Sure. It's also a, a, a nice... Uh, tip is to keep your weight down on this shot. The idea is to hang around. Why throw a bullet? You've got the brushers. Take the appropriate ice. Bring it down a little bit. Board, board Kevin. Clean. Little extra board. weight. Oh. Middle Clean. up. Oh. Clean. No. Hit. Clean. Clean. Stick. Clean. Clean. Two. Clean it. Martin. Oh, guys. Oh, yeah. Stop, and that's what he does here. Kevin Martin with a huge two oh, boy, points. Five, two. Two to play. After yesterday's opening men's draw, the standings, the four winners, were we surprised that Howard, yes, yeah, Stout, look at Cooey. You know, you've got three uh, Canadian champions there, multiple championships, in fact, all losing their, their first. If you lose your second, is it impossible to come back? It's a big hole, particularly this week, because it's an eight-team round, Robin. Well, there's a two-time Canadian champion, Kerry Burton. 
And let's think back as the crowd responds to Kerry here on the uh, the big screen. When you think back to the trials of 2001, he started 0-2, but it was then 10 to Yeah, this is a quick one. Really tough to fall behind when there's only eight teams in this round robin. And of course, uh, Rob Beacon was uh, part of that team too and is now uh, coaching the Jeff Stoughton team. There's two Briar titles, one world championship with uh, Kerry Burtnick. Nice to see Kerry here. Nice to be in Winnipeg. One of the headlines this week in the paper was uh, Winnipeg, the cradle of curling. And I know there are some wonderful spots around the uh, country. What do you think? It's, it's pretty good. Curling is. Uh, the king, but it is something special always to come to Winnipeg and in particular Manitoba. It's good. It's good. Now, one of the things about this men's field that we've talked about, and one of the hopes for a team like Jeff Stout, and well if they right, cannot the recover and win this game, right. is you could have the one track. team like Kevin Martin race off mm -hmm. and maybe beat everybody else, and then you could have, because it's such a good field, everybody else beating each other, and then you could get oh, a log for sure. jam for third place and easily make it into the playoffs. It's just there's a lot of ifs, and you lose that control of your own fate. Our province plays this eight-team uh, round robin, and uh, one year a team that was three and four made the final, so anything can happen with only seven games. It's not like Jeff's team's bad either. Like They're yep. making a lot of shots. Go. Just a little rub on Johnny's there. It was almost perfect, and then David made an unbelievable raised double. Bingo, it's a two. Doesn't take much at this level. And two misses that uh, Jeff would love back is the third end. When the first deuce happened, Jeff missed his shots. And mm, yes. I mean, it, there was more than just Jeff missing that end. There was uh, several misses in a row, but uh, Kevin Martin made the big shots to score, and that's when, again, Jeff got Balls. into trouble getting behind okay. early. Little room right now. Line. Well, then. Well. Team line, Jeff. Room. room. If you can. Gotta bury it, John. Yep, 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 yep. Hard, John. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Where's the ball? Okay. Hey, Reed. Get some wheels. Those out of theirs. Oh, to lose ours. Right off. Uh-oh. Oh. Get on, <laughs> no. Sorry, John. Sorry, Jeff. Sorry, Johnny. Oh, uh, no. Sorry. Mark's apologizing. It's Sorry, one of Jeff. those things in curling. If there's enough angles, you might end up with a lucky break. Lucky. Tick. Sorry. Fang redirects. That would be one of those shots you couldn't even set up and think no. about playing no. as a practice <laughs> shot. No. Yeah, but did you notice just at the end, even Kevin Martin, as that stone was going out, he just raised his hand yeah, to Jeff. Yeah, you're not brushing that. No, but no. I, no, the acknowledgement was. Yeah, oh, they knew. Through to, yeah. Hey, we uh, I, we got away with oh, it. Oh, absolutely. And, and this is a maps. wonderful game. People yeah. don't plan to do that like sort it. of thing. Mark right? turned right around and apologized. Yeah, that, that's classy. Yeah. Whoa, not, that it, not that lunch is going to taste any better for the Stoughton team, no. but that's a classy move. Yep, we're there. Yep, let's go around it. Yep. Yep. Still by. Parsable. Parsable. Okay, Reed. Okay, Reed. I'm just about to say before that shot, they had staggered rocks. So they could have come around and then Martin wouldn't be able to raise them back. And that, that's also gone. Now it's a straight run back, which is a little bit easier shot. No. You know, that's interesting because I don't know if you remember, but earlier in the game when I talked about some mistakes by the Martin team, there was a run back that David overcurled in that same spot. That's true. And I wonder, sometimes you try to park nice. those mistakes, but sometimes you also think, well, I don't want to do that same release I did earlier, and he yeah, did the opposite feet. a little bit wide. Oh, 
last time I used your Yeah. Mine's good. Gotta go little. Mine's good. Move if you can, guys. Got a lot of room. Not bad. I think the line's room, pretty room. good. Line's pretty good. I picked glued on the inside of this yellow one, so there's Make no it red good. double. Real good. Still needs to curl a bit. Needs to finish just a little bit. Nope. No, 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 no. Very nice. Shot. Stoughton team Definitely. is down by three. They need to make everything and make it perfectly. <laughs> We're in the ninth. Half rock. Trying to avoid going down with two straight losses. I can't see the angle for the uh, on that freeze from here, but if uh, David hits this thin enough, it, it should go really close to that oh, other guys. red one. Maybe it off the guys. yellow one right across. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Uh oh. Wow. Oh, Did he get it outside? It's trying. It's trying. trying hard. Oh. There it is. And just oh, across right. the top. Good. It's interesting, though. Good it it could be just that they're not as used to each other. But on several of these releases, Kevin looks like he thinks it's going to be a big whoop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a couple of them have come back, and one of them was very good. And there's what you thought. Is that it just might come off that yellow and across to take the red? Close. So now do you play down to that uh, yellow stone, the Martin Stone, back of the uh, 12? I think so, Vic. You could go top of the uh, 12 foot and keep some separation, but uh, right yeah, back there, the there is no double, and that's that's what they're afraid of with Kevin throwing. John Mead Mine's made good. a great shot with his first. Mine's really good. Right to it, guys. Yep, 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 yep. line, hard line. Come on, go, 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 go. Come on, guys. Oh, and look at Nichols stay with Very it all the time. way down. The personal trainer, it's paying it's off guys. all the exercise and man. preparation yeah. he does. <laughs> He's but amazing. But there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of jump in his step walking back. <laughs> <laughs> that. Yeah. Is that way I bumped it? No, it didn't move it at all. Didn't move it at John sure Epping it. down by three but it is Howard with his last and ninth Catholic well and John Epping made a really nice corner freeze on his final stone and so for Glenn just ignoring that side of the house where that stone is and needing to draw eight foot maybe even a bite of the four for his single that would give him a four point advantage coming home Good luck, David. Good luck. Thanks, Carl. And the handshakes says Howard will bounce back after struggling yesterday to pick up the win, make the final 9 5. And so now both teams are 1 and 1. Nice draw. Still normal way he's throwing there. Yep. Another story similar on other sheets is that three in the first end that Glenn got out of what we think is probably a strategy mistake yes. by John Epping. And it's sheet yep. by sheet. We're looking at situations. If you give up an early score, even though you've got 10 ends here, it is tough to come back on these teams that defend so well. So the hit made by Martin on that stone at the back of the 12 and another freeze attempt here. Yeah, that's all they've got Vic. Just don't have they don't have to sit two here. They could tap it back or there might be an outside double. Just gonna freeze on top. If it's really good, Kevin will have to just hit the open one and concede a deuce. We're there. Stay with it. We gotta keep it there. Mine's good. We're still to it. Still to it. Yep. Mine's good. Make it go. Mine's good. Try Sam. Beauty, Jeff. Beautiful curling. Well, we saw Mike McEwen there. That steal of two for Jacobs in seven. How big is that? McEwen just gets two back in nine. So he's down by one. Jacobs leads, and we'll have the last rock coming home. Oh, the choice. Does this one go into this? Wow. All right here is fine. Boy, I'll tell you what. Stoughton is scratching here, isn't he? Trying to save himself. on the inside. Well, it's impressive right. because it yeah, would be easy if you're Jeff Stoughton to be discouraged to make some mistakes, but those are yeah. two lovely freezes. Well, if it's too far back, you could make onto the back of this and clip this one away by. So T-line is... Jeez. Back to eight. 
Interesting. I thought he could hit the one that well, uh, the the right Jeff line. just threw, hit it really thin, and would go underneath the uh, combination at the back, that red one at the top of the uh, eight foot. Keep this high side of that red. But yeah. If they ever jam it, it's a shot for the three. Team. This way, just put it in the eight foot. Most Jeff can score is two. The line's good. We can always freeze that back red. Yeah. This is the luxury of having that little mm -hmm. jump just on the scoreboard. Here. Yeah, Kevin could definitely do that for sure, but uh, he's probably giving up two either way, so why not throw the easy shot? Which just this draw lead, but... Go ahead. Where are we Where at? Is it, guys? Top eight. Top oh, four. We're T-line. Oh, okay, Actually, let it curl, then. We're T-line. T-line's good. Yeah, line's good. T-line. Hard. Hard, come on, Top eight. Top eight. Top eight. We're top eight. Yeah, top eight's fine. Off, 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 off. Off, off, Good shot. Good shot. That slips there. Mm -hmm. Is there anything there to bring three into play? <laughs> yeah, there is. It'd be the uh, the thin Hackner double. If you just hit the one Kevin threw, it's thin as you can hit it. Can I think go? It's thin. Jacob's got the only steal out here, so I don't know if we're going to get one. Uh, but, you're, I mean, okay, you like let's it, go back to what we've talked about. You're in danger here of losing a second. Is it worth the gamble? Oof. We Only Jeff Stoughton can yeah, answer that did. question. Timeout's being called. How easy is it to make that shot? Yeah, he's not coming out. He did his hair and everything. Yeah. It was funny. Mark referred to another oh, oh, sheet, the game next door, where Brad long Jacobs long did steal some points. How would you play it? Saying how hard it is out here to get a steal, and that's why he wants to go for it. Have to play more than bump, eh? Like maybe even nice weight, because you could play it with bump and maybe. What do you guys think? Was it an eight? Whatever you like. What's that? Oh, it's it's. Oh, it's thin. It's, it's thin. It's I mean, like you got to paper it. Like you got to throw enough weight. To, yeah, you got to probably play Swipe, nice weight. Bump her up or nice. What do you think? So Rob, me. Why are you standing so far away? Enough <laughs> <laughs> of you guys can make the decision. What's that? Enough of you guys. There. I mean, you got to you got to find a way to score some points, right? At this point, this is a chance. I've seen easier, but. Basically, just hit it the way Mark did. Yeah. What do you think? Should we go for it, or what is it worth to them at this you moment the in time? Is that easy? easy? They're in danger of losing their first two. Is it worth the game? Bad. Oh, they're really bad. Chance of stealing one. Or you guys great, like it? I'm fine with it. You got to steal one regardless, right? Yeah. So, Ah, oh, you got to throw at least bumper up. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say nice weight for sure, because you could hit you could hit it pretty good and not get that one out of the eight foot. I like it. Make it. Well, yeah, nice weight. How tough a decision is this? Yeah. I mean, in the scheme of things, like. Well, the hard part is we've talked about it many times. You've played for years to get to this place. You have you such a Make desire, it. Jeff's it's last chance to go to the Olympics. Shape, and so yeah. unfortunately yeah, in your decision shape. making, it comes back to outcome based thinking. I have to make oh, something really here. I have to make some magic happen wow. to mean, have a chance. You'd rather just have the cold so. analysis yeah. of this is the best yeah. chance I have. I'm going to play this shot. Anything. But okay, it comes back to how badly they like want to be there at the end of the week. You like that much? This is a very tough well, shot. Yeah, the, you know, you know, luckily it's Jeff Stoughton that's throwing it, and that you makes the odds a little better, but the so. odds are so low here. It's, I, I'd have to throw yeah. out 10%. Yeah. Okay, Maybe uh, okay. Jeff will probably prove me wrong, hopefully for Jeff. But scoring the two, you only have to steal one, you're into an extra end. Even if they make this, they have to steal the win. So it saves them a steal situation, that's all. And it's, this is a tough shot. Boy, it's a tough shot. More. Should curl in this spot. I gotta make sure they get this as thin as they Almost can. Up. Oh, oh, oh. Final stone. Close. Yep. Close. Yep. 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 Here they go. Yep. Nicholas. Yep. Carruthers. Thin. Thin and they oh, come across. Oh, thin. Come across. Oh, yeah. Yeah.
City. Put three on the board. Jeff Stubber. Just enough. He's rushing. And straight. It's now time for today's secret word. The secret word is hit. Go to finalend.ca and enter this word for your chance to win. Kathy, we always do scoreboard watching. And, uh, in, in, in this format, of course, maybe a little more so, Kevin Cooey as he plays uh, John Morris. Well, he's got a really big in off there. He's trying to slice his sideways, get rid of that stone for maybe four. Bang across, and he just slides underneath the Morris shot stone, the red stone. And so that steal of one gives Morris a 5-4 lead. Remember now, Cooey dropped his opener, so he's also Canadian world champion in danger of losing his first two. That's how difficult this field is here in Winnipeg. What a shot. A shot that we will remember. That for three. Now again, it's that was the gamble. But he still has to stop if he's to avoid losing his first two. He'll need to steal here in ten. Martin really good. with the hammer. Has the last rock playing the yellow stones, looking to win two in a row. A little bit of a strange start to this one. The first guard was positioned by Stoughton at the center line area. The tick was missed. It raised the rock through, so the redstone came back. The second guard was not played in a great spot. They're very close together. And so because of that, because they're in double field territory, Kevin Martin has decided not to try anything and place the come around. So we do have three rocks in play for Jeff. Unfortunately, those two uh, together are really one because that's an easy double, as you mentioned. Back four, back eight, guys. Yeah. This could be the lift that the Stoughton need, team needs. We talked about it before the game started. They just, they're just on the wrong side of the inch and just haven't got the crowd into it. Now they do. This should be good weight. Should yep. be there. Should be. Yep. T line. Yep. Whoa. Whoa. Wait. Wait, Mark. Mark, if you can. Let's go. Yep, yep. Hard. Hard! Come on, guys. Hard, 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 hard! hard. Come on, hard, 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 hard. Good shot, beauty. Beautiful shot. Gets him right behind the button. Now you can see what happens if a red one freezes onto that shot. Yellow rock. Mark Kennedy. Hard! 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 The crowd here in the MTS. With two Winnipeg teams on the ice. Haven't had much to cheer about over the course of the first couple of days. Jennifer Jones certainly has won two in a row. But watch this. How good is this? And there it is. To come across, remove one, get the backing off, score three. And he still has work to do. Looking to steal now, Jeff Stout, as we play in the 10th. Martin with the last rock. Whoa now, John. Whoa now. Mine's good. Pete Carruthers. As we play second stones, which leads us to our game story. Well, a lot of action in the last two ends. If you talk about the end before that, Kevin Martin got two big doubles out of David Nedowin and got a deuce. That looked like he was cruising until we saw that beautiful Stoughton shot for three. Kevin Martin, once again, at 96%. He's been a big story on the ice today. The game story brought to you by m m Meat Shops. Frozen food at its best. Good. How's Martin seem going to react? That's the other issue now. The uh, I thought he'd throw the peel on uh, Jeff's first rock in the ninth. Could have peeled it other pretty easily, giving up an easy deuce by throwing the draw, coming up a little light. Obviously, uh, made Jeff made him pay. So they they have to regroup a little bit here too. They seem to have control the entire game. Now they're tied. 
good week. In this positioning, that's last in, we mentioned that Mark Nichols' guards ended up in a poor a spot for right Jeff now, Stoughton. Guys. So now this is a waiting game, guard, peel, guard, Ooh. peel. And then you look at the situation in the house, and we're anticipating that Jeff Stoughton will play some form of tap and try to get his rock that's already in there in a good spot. So it's always interesting because it's kind of frustrating when you're just doing these waiting game shots, knowing the end result, and then it will be up to Jeff Stoughton to try and get a good one on his last. But, I mean, the fact that Mark has the last rock as the hammer, I mean, that's... That's what How good all, is that? Yeah, that's that's the, obviously the Granted, difference. He gives up his three, and sure, he has yep. to chair it around and say, great shot. But in his pocket, he can just reach out and take that last stone. Exactly, exactly. But it could be a tough one. If uh, Jeff, can, this continues to play out the way it is, Jeff taps with his last one. You might see Martin change his mind. It is interesting how things go, too, because Mark Nichols, the lead for Stoughton, yesterday curled 99%, and today he has struggled with rock positioning. If those two first guards are played yeah. correctly, especially with Ben Hebert messing the tick. The cover for Mark, too. He's, he's, he's got a rock. One rock's a lot yeah, faster than the other one, but uh, you're right. It's, it's, he hasn't been quite as sharp as he was yesterday, for sure. Yep. That's good. That's good. Right, hey, John. Good job, boys. Good. David Nedwin, as we play third stones here in the tenth of a 5 5 tie. Nice throws, David. Good throws. I think you have to. Okay. Tap it. Just frozen. So they're making oh, the move guarding. now. Please? Yeah, great okay. points. If they throw the guard, Martin Tides throws another guard, they won't have a chance to get in there. So they're going to go in now, and then we'll see a heater from Kevin Martin. It's just, it's, there's no angle, so if we guard, he throws a guard. I don't have a but shot. You don't have to throw a perfect guard. Well, he can still guard either side, though. Then he just guards the other side. Okay. I know what you mean, though. Yeah, you could put an off center yeah. guard so, then, so that there would be something okay. left on the last, and that's Mark's suggestion. It is frustrating. I'm talking about frustrations back and forth, but putting a rock into the rings now on Jeff's first does give Kevin yes. a better chance yes. to blast things out. We've got room right now, but... Back oh, four, back no. in. Not bad. No. Back four. No, not bad. He's coming down. He's going to get a curl bit. Sean Mead just. Nichols. Yep. Brothers, nothing oh, for it. Just oh. to the nose. Oh, 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 oh. oh. right <laughs> to the face. Just a little yeah, off the nose, yeah, though. Anything. Fraction, Absolutely eh? Absolutely anything. Oh, that was so close to perfection. They had to wait so long, and then yeah. it did come up, but didn't tap it straight back. Spectacular shot all the same, though. Just a wonderful, perfect speed. Eighth of an inch under curl. Uh-oh. Kevin Martin. Oh, David Nedwin whoa, 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 whoa. trying to call him off. Oh, Nothing oh, yet. Oh, Kennedy oh, Hebert, what's he got? Gonna oh, spill it all the way. Has to get it out all the way. Come back. No, it doesn't look like it did. Yeah. 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 Same way. Just back button. Yeah, I think back button. Darn. What's that? Darn. Yeah. Rolls a little more as a next nice pick. Just that perfection talking again. Left the shooter yeah. out for Jeff to draw around, but a very nice shot. Yeah, it's tough to make a straight He's back double and roll a long way. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, it's going to be a short raiser. You might even see uh, Jeff go back button or a little deeper. If he goes top four, it's such a short raise. What a great game. A lot of good shots.
So final stone and uh, looking to pull out a little more magic with his last. Looking to steal Stoughton here in 10. Line only. Back for it, coming yeah, down. Line's good now. Still wolf. Still wolf. Mark. Just let us. It's gonna be buried. It's gonna be better. Just back button. Just back button. Just back button. Shot Jeff. Hey, Jeff. Oh, right. Tell you what. He's gonna go out fighting. Shot Jeff. <laughs> Shot Jeff. Real good. <sighs> No, real good. What the best we could do, right? Eh? Yeah. Three brilliant shots in a row by Jeff Stout, and that thin shot for three, three in the yeah. ninth, and yeah. two perfectly finesse, finesse shots here. Great shots. Nice normal down here. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Evan's thrown some great draws today. I think it's just the confirmation from the brushers about the path. Big numbers, 93% on those draws. In a 5 5 tie, try to win two straight right easy. out of the gate. Easy. Kevin line's Martin. Good. Line's good. Easy, easy, easy. Just T line, just T line. Rim. Kennedy. I did. Rim. Ebert. Heads line's up. Good. Heads down. Yep. Line's good, yep. Two of the very best. And now they know they've got it. Good. Good. It's there. It's there, guys. Good. It's there, guys. Good. Line's perfect. Take, line's take good. it. Yep. Here, the ahead. line's go perfect, ahead. Martin. Now you can take it, boys. Take it, it all the way in. Take it all the way in. Two straight wins. Kevin Martin. Six. Five. The final. And Stout drops. Second straight. The 2013 Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings is brought to you by Tim Hortons. Always fresh, always great tasting coffee. The 2013 Tim Hortons Roar of the Rings is brought to you by Ford. Proud partner of the Canadian Curling Association for 20 years. By Scotty's Facial Tissue. Scotty's, the perfect touch. And by World Financial Group. Creating a better tomorrow for families today. WFG. It's all coming to an end. Very quickly here, we have two finals, two game still on the ice you see those two red stones around the four they belong to Mike McEwen as he's trying to steal his way to a possible win down by one to Jacobs the reigning Canadian champion Brad Jacobs as the crowd settles down here Jacobs See, Trish trying to play a little tap on his own, bump it up. Yeah, it's just a heavy draw here, but it's against two. It's for the loss oh, if he doesn't yeah. make this. Hard! Oh, oh. Ryan. Oh, oh. Yeah, Harnett on the left, oh, EJ oh, Harnett oh, on the right. Oh, oh. Ryan Fry calling oh. line. Oh, 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 oh. Trying to win a second straight. Just tap this to the oh, yeah. lid like that. Yeah. The Canadian champion wins his first two. Seven five as Jacobs now is two and zero. Oh. McEwen zero oh and two. And then moments ago on sheet D, John Morris. Look at those three red rocks all in there. At last rock, top of the button, just drawn there by Jim Cotter throwing fourth stone. Kevin Cooey, who dropped his opener. Canadian world champion runs it across. Oh, look at it spin. Now you have a look to see if, in fact, did it spin to grab enough of the button. And it did not. Morris, that much, that red stone, steals one more. He wins it 6-4. And so Cooey now drops to 0-2. And, and John Morris... Now skipping the tee from the Vernon and Kelowna Curling Clubs wins two in a row. So you have three teams undefeated, top of the table.
Glenn Howard with his win over Epping. They're now one and one. And what did we say at the start of all this? Some very good teams could have some very disappointing records. McEwen, Cooey, Stout are all winless through the first two games. Two teams that are undefeated in women's play come your way tonight, 7.30 Eastern time. Jennifer Jones against Val Sweden. It's Winnipeg against Edmonton. And make a note, it's on TSN2, and we join you again for round three, draw three for the women. What an afternoon. What a wonderful shot that Jeff Stout made. Kevin Martin remains undefeated. It's the roar of the rings. Does it get much better? Not really. Here on Canada Sports Leader, TSN.